Hey folks, welcome back this morning. We have another live play for you. Man, we did a live play last night. We did a live play this morning. I got stuff I need to do. I know, right? Get, let's get we to got, it. We gotta I, get this I, on. I need to kill you quickly. <laughs> that ain't gonna get happen. on with my day. <laughs> All right. Well, I am Sam Healy. I'm Z Garcia. How's it going? And we are here playing games workshops, Warhammer Underworld's Shade Spire. We have the new factions. We have the Chosen Axes and Spike Claws Swarm, I think is what they're called. They're Skaven. And so uh, he has five models. I only have four, so clearly he's going to win. <laughs> no, probably not. All right, so basically this is the first time Z has played the game. And uh, I've played the game multiple times, but this is uh, the first time that I've played this faction. And, of course, it's the first time he's played that faction as well. So uh, we've already dro drone, drone? Drawn. <laughs> We've already drawn our cards, and we're ready to go oh, that I'm way. We did fudge a little bit on the uh, rules here because you're supposed to uh, have a choice of what board you're going to play and what side it's going to be on. But I wanted to uh, go ahead and set up the board here. We've got some 3D terrain that was sent to us by GameMat.eu. Uh, it's a website you can go check out. They uh, have some really nice looking stuff. And uh, this is only a, a smattering of it, really. This is from their Gothic Ruins set, and this is from their... Um, uh, Highlands at War set. So there you have it. Uh, we're pretty much ready to go. We're just going to go through some basic rules so that Z understands what's going on and so that you guys have a pretty good idea of what's happening as well. So without further ado, this game takes place in three rounds. All right. Uh, the action phase of the round is where most of the action is going to happen, where you are going to be activating four things. You Well, rather, you have four activations with which you can use, and each of us will be able to uh, pull those activations. I'll do one, you do another, I'll do one, you do another, back and forth, starting with whoever has initiative, and we roll off to see who has initiative. Now, when you use an activation, there's a number of different things you can do. You can activate a character to perform a number of different actions. You can uh, discard a card and draw a card from one of your respective decks. I'm going to double check that in just a few moments. Um, but that's, generally speaking, what you can do. Let me go ahead and double check those other actions. Uh, so the things that you can do with one of your characters is you can have them perform a move action. And how far they move is uh, determined by this number down here in the card, the hex. Okay. And that's how many hexes they can move. Okay. All right. If they perform a move action, uh, you will give them a token that looks like that, helping you to remember that you've already moved that guy, and you cannot move him again. Okay. He can attack as much as he wants, but he can't move anymore. All right. There's another thing you can do, and that is a charge action for which you will use this token. Uh, no movement and no, no attack. No reason is, is because a charge is moving your movement and then performing an attack uh, if you have somebody within range. If you do a charge action, that means you cannot move and you cannot attack. You're just basically a sitting duck for the rest of that round. Okay. All right. Another thing you can have them do is guard. And that simply means that uh, instead of using your defense profile here, for example, this guy is wanting to roll the swooshes for defense. This guy, though, wants to roll the shields for defense. If you guard, if you place somebody on guard, both shields and swooshes will count as defense if they are attacked. Okay. So it just gives you a better um, likelihood of, of defending yourself against an attack. All right, so that is uh, make a move action, make a charge action, go on guard, or then you can make a uh, an action that's printed on a fighter card or upgrade. So some of these cards are upgrades, which are the ones that have the little sprocket symbols in them at the top. And then other ones are ploy cards, which are the ones that have the swords uh, at the top of the card there, okay? Ploy cards are and upgrade cards are both played in 
a couple of different ways. The main way you're going to be playing them is during an end phase or what is called a power step. All right. After I choose an activation, or after I activate something, we're going to go into a power step where I will have the choice, the chance to play one of my cards. Then after I have either passed or played a card, you will have the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. Play a card from your hand. Now, you will, um, if both of us pass successively, power step is over and we go to the next activation. Mm -hmm. But, and that's the only way that a power step can end, um, is if both of us pass in succession. So if I play a card and then you pass and then I pass, it's over. Okay. All right. So uh, after, so what we'll do is we'll have activation, power step, your activation, power step, my second activation, power step, and so forth and so on. That's how the flow of the round goes until we activate all four of our tokens. And that's one third of the game. That is correct. Got it. That is correct. All right. Now, during the end phase, uh, let's see, the uh, about drawing cards for activations, let me go ahead and do that. You can draw a power card from the top of your deck. You can discard an objective card from your hand and draw one back up into your hand. So you can, um, you can have more than five power cards, but you cannot have more than three objectives. Okay. So you can draw a power card up into your hand, or you can use an activation to, to discard a objective and draw a replacement. Okay. All right. So that's another thing that you can use these activations for. It's not just doing these things here. All right. Um, during the end phase, let me go ahead and explain that real quick, and then we'll get started. Because combat, we can just walk you through the first part, and uh, I'll, I'll understand how these things work for you. But then you'll you'll be able to understand it better if we just walk through a combat okay. the first time. It'll happen pretty quickly, hopefully. All right, the end phase. End phase is where we're going to score objectives, which some of your objective cards, I'll just go ahead and show you some of the ones that I don't have in my hand. Okay, so this objective card here is how many points you're going to score if you're able to score this card. Mm -hmm. And this is the requirements that are necessary to score that point. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, that's, that's all you need to really understand about objective cards. Is the, when is that end step? That is after the last fourth activation. So it happens three times in the game, that's it? That is correct. Some of these are you're able to score immediately. And they will say that, score immediately after something happened. Got it. Um, so those are ones that will score not in the end phase, but before, wherever, whenever it says that they will. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's the first thing that happens in the end phase sequence. We score objectives, and then we discard any unwanted objectives out of our hand. And you draw back up? Yes, you do. Okay. Well, you discard those first, then you're able to play more upgrade cards. If you want, if you uh, like some of these things, those are what we're using to play those upgrade cards. So when you get a point, it goes in front of you like this. In order to play an upgrade card, you'll simply flip it over like that. It's still a point for you at the end of the game. You just can't use it to pay for anything else anymore. Okay. All right. And it's a one-to-one -one always? Yeah, more often than not. Yeah. Well, I, I, haven't, I haven't run across any upgrade cards that cost more than one point. Okay. Uh, I'll put it that way. Uh, we discard unwanted objectives, play upgrade cards, discard unwanted upgrade cards. Um, I'm sorry, power cards. And then we will draw back to three and five, respectively. All right, and, and we play three rounds. Whoever has the most points, whether they're spent or unspent, at the end of that third round is the winner. Okay. So it's possible for you to have your entire force knocked out and still win. Got it. Unlikely, but possible. All right? Okay. All right, so first thing we do here is uh, we're going to uh, place uh, objectives. Now, we're going to use one of the... Um, Alternative rules, and that is catch the artifact. And the artifact is uh, one of these, what is it called? I can't remember the name of this thing, the Kato, Kato Frain artifact. That's what this is. This is going to go in a uh, no man's land, which is basically this stripe right here, which is basically this stripe right here. It's okay. going to go anywhere there. So let's roll off to see who places it there. What this does is, is if you hold this objective, you're going to be able to score, at the end of a round, you're going to be able to score three points. 
So it's going to raise the number of points we score. We're going to be fighting over this a lot. Okay. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the lore behind this is that if you find a number of these artifacts or all of these artifacts, it helps you break free from the underworld and go back to the land of the living. So that's why we would be fighting over the artifact. Got it. We're in the land of the dead. Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. I mean, I don't know all the lore behind it. Somebody else out there probably does. Get on does, that, man. Get on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we're going to roll off of that. Just take three three dice. Are they all the same? Yeah, pretty much. Because we're only rolling for uh, crits. Okay. And they all have the number, same number of crits. So, the most number of crits One. goes... Okay. So, you can choose. Either I can place it or you can place it. Place it. All right. Place it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place it... Uh, Kind of right here. Not there, though. Not there. <laughs> I'm going to place that there. All right. Now, uh, we're going to shuffle these up because now we're going to place these objectives. Some of your objective cards have objective numbers on them. And if you hold that number objective, you'll be able to score that number of points at the end of the, at the, end of the round. Okay. All right. So now you won. So you can choose first. Don't look at it. You just place it somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Cannot be on one of these spaces. Cannot be on any of these spaces on the outside of the board. So it has to be kind of in the middle there, yeah. And finally, when you place an objective, it cannot be in, uh, within two of another objective. Okay. So uh, I'm going to put this here. Go ahead. Next Can one. we keep going? Yeah, until they're all out. And then... Place this one back here, and you place the last one. Can I go here? I uh, cannot. That should be fine, right? That works, yeah. Okay, um, now these uh, simply flip over because we have already gotten all of our cards. It's and a 20 sided die. <coughs> What's that? Yeah. yeah, pretty much it is, yeah. And this one flips over as well. All right, so now we go with and the another. numbers on those or what? Uh, again, they will match the. Um, oh, 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 right. Some card says if you control the five. Uh, correct. Thing, you control yes. it. Okay, got That's it. correct. Got it. All right, let me shuffle these because I just looked. Now, does they ever come off the board or controlling nope. them simply means they standing stay there? On them. They stay there. Um, I did notice, and I can't remember if I included it in my deck, but some of the uh, some of this faction has cards that allow you to switch objectives. Wow. Like it, like they phase or something right, like that. Right, right, right. And I did include a power card in my deck that has, that's Earthquake, which means that I can shift everybody one. Okay. But they have to be in the same direction. But anyway, just for knowledge. All right, so we're ready to go. Now we're gonna do another roll off to see who places first. How many dice do you have there? Just three. I got two. Nope. All right. Um, I'll allow you to place your first guy. So you're going to place a guy. I'm going to place a guy. You're going to place a guy, and so forth and so on. They can only be placed on the starting locations that have the little skull. Done. All right. That's that. Well, they can be intermingled on that tile on this one, right? Yes. Well, no. This is your board. This is my board. Oh. So you're going to start on that side. I'm going to start on this side. Got it. This is not... Very meaningful to me then. No, it, it, well, it will later on if you play it more and you understand the strengths and weaknesses of Yeah, yeah, of right. Each I mean, right yeah. now, right now. Uh, well, it's, it's like... equally as, because I haven't done a lot of research on these guys either, so I kind of did that on purpose. Sam, they were saying for the, the roll offs initiatives and stuff that you, you roll four dice, not three. Okay, six of one, half a dozen the other. I don't, yeah. We rolled the same number of dice. I'm sure. <laughs> if you're worried about us rolling three dice for deciding who gets to start, no, you might not, this might not say, be yeah. the live stream for you. Other other things <laughs> will be wrong. That well, hopefully, actually matter. Hopefully, not too many things. Hopefully, I'll get I'll get most just, everything. Just making right. sure, folks, that you if understand. If that's the only mistake I make. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I, well, I will be making mistakes. Why are you placing all your dudes, man? You're right. See? <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Why? Don't don't disrupt us. All right. So you placed your third guy. Yeah, yeah? I think okay. so. Sure. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to place that the other. Bam. All right. And we're going to place this guy back here. Wham. 
All right, so now we have placed everything. Now let's roll off again using four dice. I just want to make people happy. Good, you did good. I don't know. I don't think so. I got one. Okay. So um, I'm going to. I'm going to go first. Go right. for it, please. All right, here we go. All right, so on my first phase, I'm going to activate. Uh, let me look at my cards here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um. All right, so I'm going to activate uh, my leader. Uh, by the way, your leader is the guy who has the crown on your thing. So I'm going to activate my leader to move, and he's going to come up here and hold objective one. He has moved, and that is the end of my activation. Now we would go into a power step, but before we do that, mm -hmm. I want to explain these cards because I told you I was going to. Mm -hmm. All right. I already told you about movement and mm -hmm. defense. Mm -hmm. That's how many spaces you can move. That's how many dice you roll and the kind of face that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the four in the big red circle is health. Health. That's correct. See? That's intuitive. All right. Oh, I saw the big splatter <laughs> of blood, so I figured. All right. So here... Uh, is a combat profile. You can use this guy's attack. The numbers mean uh, how many spaces away that attack reaches, mm -hmm. what kind of face you're wanting to roll on the attack dice, and how many dice you roll, mm -hmm. and then how much damage that attack does if one die is successful, if at least one die is successful. So having multiple or rather hits if, doesn't matter? I'm sorry. If it's, no, because it's number of hits that the attacker rolls, against number of defenses that the defender rolls. Mm -hmm. If the attacker has more successes than the defender, then that's how much damage is, is, is taken. So it doesn't matter as long as I get at least more than you. Right, if it's a successful hit, that's how much damage it does. All right, and that's it. Some people have attacks that you can choose between different organizations, whatever. Another thing that this card is telling you is this little gold bar right here. It tells you uh, what condition will inspire this character. So, for example, my, my guys says if I hold an objective at the end of the action phase, then these guys will become inspired. They will turn over, and they're just a little bit more powerful. Like this guy is, instead of doing three damage, he's doing four damage now. And he has one extra hit point, and he's moving a little bit further. Okay. All right. So getting your guys inspired is something you really want to try to do. All right. These all work the same way. It says a player chooses this fighter when using a ploy. Yes. Something in here, I'm assuming, will say ploy. Ploy cards will you will are the ones with the swords, and they will target your warriors. Got it. More often than not. Okay. Now we're in a power step phase because I've done my first activation. Mm -hmm. Some of your cards, those ploy cards that we were just talking about, they target a specific warrior, and it will say something to the effect of usually in the next activation or so forth and so on. So if it is a defensive card and you think you're about to be attacked, then you need to play it in the power step before you think you're going to be attacked. Okay. If it's an attack that you want to use on one of your guys, then you have to play it in my power step when it's about to be your activation. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So that's what we're doing right now. I am going to... Um, I'm not... Uh, I'm not going to play. I'm going to pass. I'm not going to play any cards right now. I'm not going to play any upgrades because I can't afford it. And I'm not going to play any ploy cards just because I don't want to. So now it passes to you. Why would you not be able to afford the upgrades? Because I don't have any uh, points yet. You can't play upgrades unless you use points to pay for them. But ploy, those are fine. Yeah, ploys are free. Okay, then I'm good as well. Okay, so we both pass. It becomes your activation. I am going to trigger Wolverine here. <laughs> All right. And he is going to move five. Oh, my goodness. 
I didn't even look at your guys. They oh just, they're just they fast. That's yeah, what they, they are. are. They are definitely fast. He's actually going to run off the board. <laughs> He's going home. Sam, any chance of uh, 8th edition 40K? Yes, it is coming. Uh, Vernon and I are painting uh, our respective armies right now. Uh, he's he's doing the um, the plague marines, and I'm doing um, the uh, regular marines. I'm I'm choosing the dark angels chapter, but yeah, it's coming uh, in the future. We were one of the things we were waiting on is this terrain to come in. <laughs> so, but yeah, we just have to finish painting them, in, and uh, we're, we're going to get it done. So it's in the near future. Warhammer. Go. Yeah. So can I go this way? One, two, three, four, five. That is correct. <laughs> now, do you want to do a charge? Or do you want to do a um, uh, just a move? Uh, I want to attack. Okay, so you would do a charge so that you can move, which is what you just did, and then attack. Okay. The only thing is, is that you're going to be sitting there. I don't like him that much. Okay. Wolverine doesn't think about the future. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to hit you, or well, I'm going to try. Okay, so you're going to use you're going to roll two dice, okay. and you're trying to get swords. Double swords. Double swords. Right. Oh. And uh, my guy is going to roll one. <coughs> and you're looking for shields. And I'm looking for shields, but criticals are also successes. If you roll more criticals than I do, mm -hmm. then uh, you win. Mm -hmm. If I roll more criticals than you do, then I win. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. If we both roll criticals, but you roll an extra success, those criticals will even out, and then you'll have an extra success. You'll still win. Okay. There. So okay, you, so you have one success. So if. Unless you roll a crit. Which I rolled a shield, but you rolled more crits than I did, so I, I take a hit. Okay, and you get hurt for one. Uno. Uh, let's see here. That's, that's. Now I gotta make sure I think you can push me back which you probably want to do. I want to double check and make sure. Yes, I want to push him. I'm going to grab him by his funny hat and <laughs> drag him about. <laughs> All right. If the target of attack action can be driven back, which he can, the attacking player can choose to push the target one hex. This can be in any direction. That means they end up further away from the attacker. All right, so if the attack total equals the defense, the attack total is less, no. Uh, choose a target, roll the attack roll the size. All this is this. So yes, I get to push. I think so, yes. It is that the attack is successful, the target suffers damage. If they push back. Um, I would like to push. The target can also be driven back, so yes, you can. That Which way. way? Which way? That way. Here, here. The other way. Here. Yeah. All Up right. against the rocks. Got it. <laughs> All righty. And then I do a power step. Yes. And you can play one of your pulley cards. And I will pass on that. Oh, yeah. I should be checking these goals. Okay, so I'm passing on that. You are? Okay. Um, I'm passing as well. Nothing for me to really play. I should have played something last turn, but hey, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? All right, so now I'm going to activate and... Uh, Oh, do I? Wait a minute. Do I have anything that will? No. <coughs> okay. Poop. What? Poop. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and. You got uh, this, man. Don't even worry about it. We're, gonna we're just lowly rats. Tefk flame bear, and he's going to move two, one, two. <laughs> 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 And Slow, tiny little humans. Yes, that's true. And um, that's all I can do because uh, there's nothing to attack. So there you are. And I am not going to play anything 
on my on my power step. I will not either. Okay, so your activation. Very well, I will activate Spite Claw. Ooh. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Ouch. And he's gonna drive that <laughs> right into your beard. You know, you can you can have less commentary on your turns. <laughs> You're charging, I imagine, yes? Oh yeah, these yeah, guys okay. are insane. <laughs> Alright, so I get to roll two dice. Oh wait, I can attack you from a distance of two. Yeah, because you're a big, long, pointy stick. Stop it with the commentary. <laughs> I'm going to go right here instead. Okay. All right. Um, two dice. Looking for those hammer things. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. That's one crit. Jeez. That's a mess. How much damage? Uh, he does two. Ouch. Uh, Sorry, I don't think you need this. You need no. these. How much can does he take? Five? Four. Four? Yeah. Nah, he'll be fine. <coughs> and then I can push you? Yes. Okay, I want to push you that away. Get away from me. And now... Hmm. Sam, what would you say is the entry level for age into this game? 30 at least. <laughs> 30? No. Like compared to Heroescape, let's say. Uh, well, it's definitely a little bit more complicated than Heroescape, but I would say uh, tweens, age, 11, 12, 10-ish, probably could understand this game. Smart seven-year-old? <laughs> no, I wouldn't go that far. Prodigy four-year-old? Um, I, I, I think it's um, a regular... You know, you don't have to be that old. I mean, there there are kids that I used to play that were young teenagers. I used to play teenagers, against 4, 40K all the time. I would so, say teenagers probably. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> all right. Um, what do you got? Power step. Oh, power step. Excuse me. Um, right. Um, once these guys die, do they come back? No. Alright, I'm going to play this card for my power step. Um, let me double check on... Uh, yeah. It's called Sudden Skittering. Double the move characteristic of the first friendly fighter to make a move in the next activation. Okay. I'm the next activation, so that won't actually fire. You'll have to wait until oh, my power okay, step ahead, to play that, yeah. Now I know you're going to play that. What can I do? Nothing. That seems... Well, you, you get what I'm saying, though. I do, but yeah. I just... Why can't they just... Why can't it just be next time I move a friendly guy, he moves twice? Like... Yeah, it depends on... You have to, you have to strategically use play those cards at the right time. No, no, I get that, but if I play this and it says double the move characteristic of the first friendly guy to move next. If I play it right now, I'm wasting it. Correct. Because so it's only the next activation is the window. You always, yes, you always have the opportunity to play a card before every activation. Right. So you right. just have to wait to play it at the right time. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not okay. going to do that anyway, I think. I am going to... <sighs> do these statuses come off of them? Uh, At the, after the end round, yeah. After we've done all this? Yes, that's correct. Then why... Would you not attack with them when you run up to me? Well, that's the thing. Right now, I can't reach you. But if you could, you would attack? Absolutely. And the thing about you driving me back is keeping him from attacking you. Sure. I get because that. Because I can't move him anymore. Okay. So 
Yeah, you're you. I, I did not realize that they could move so far. You did not realize that I had actually played those several times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mad Migram is uh, going to simply move here. And look at you controlling things. Okay. Mm. And power step, I'm not going to do anything. Me neither. I didn't. I missed my opportunity to play my cards right. So your your activation. I'm a loser, baby. Because he's going to kill me. I'm moving this guy. And he moved. Okay. Power step. Hmm. No, because I need those things. Okay. <clears throat> no, no power step here. Again. Are you yeah, the, the Skaven, they're called Spike Call Swarm. Uh, they're Skaven, and then these guys are the Chosen Axes. They're uh, dwarves. We'll go first next time. We roll off again. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. Initiative is... Important. <clears throat> that's gamble, rat. No, that's not a gamble. That's the last activation of the turn, so you're going to get three points. That's not a gamble. Yeah, but he might, like, you might go first next time and hit me while I could. If I go first, I'll hit you. Why wouldn't you just do that and hit me? Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm next <laughs> to you. You're right. <laughs> All right, that's your one free help. I'm not helping you anymore because you're winning right now. Uh, you should be a courteous teacher, Sam. I am a courteous teacher. That's why I said that. I could have just said, okay, I'm helping step. you <laughs> once. That's huh? not right. Uh, okay, so two dice, hammers. That is double X guy. That's Tefk Flame Bearer. He gets one die as well. That's one hit. One hit. And that is not a defense. So how much? Uh, he takes two. two. Man, you're killing me. That is the idea, I thought. It is. Ooh. And then I still have one of those steps. Power step, yeah. Yeah, okay. I still don't have any way, a way to play stuff. So. Correct. So now we go into the uh, end phase. In the end phase, you're going to score three points for holding this objective. A point, you mean these? Yes. And then if you have any other objective cards in your hand that you can score, you would do that now. I don't have any. No. You don't have any either? No. Okay. Now, at this point, we would go to discarding unwanted objectives. Yes. Oh, wow. I realized you could have mulliganed. I told you that before no, no, we started. No, I know. It's okay. I didn't you know what I was no doing. doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll get rid of one. I'm going to discard this one. We're talking these, right? Yes. Don't draw up yet. <laughs> All right. Now we can play upgrade cards, which you have the ability to do because you have stuff. You have, yeah, you have points son. to play. That is right. They have for you. Not a hint. They say, don't forget your inspire condition, your inspire uh, ability. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. I do. Yeah, I do have. What uh, is it? These two guys are going to be inspired. What is their inspiration trigger? They hold an objective at the end of an action phase. Oh, how fancy. My rants are simple. They just want stuff. Yeah, they If you they give run. them a stick, they're like, I can conquer the world with this stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. What am I going to do gonna here, man? And... That guy is going to be inspired. Who do I want to help out? 
Ugh. Yeah, okay. I want to give this guy... Oh, but that's not that good. While you're taking so long, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the board. You do that, ready. you do that. Was this guy here, or was he here? No, he was over there, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy... Which one is he? Yeah, he's that guy. I'm going to give him this shade glass hammer. Okay. So he's got a new line, okay. basically, of... Yeah, he has another option of and an attack that he And there's also, down use. here, it says that when I attack, uh, when this attack action is successful, I discard that upgrade. And on a critical hit, uh, this attack has plus one damage on top of that. Okay. So if it successfully attacks, you have to get rid of it? Yeah. When Ooh. this attack action is successful, discard this upgrade. Yeah. Wow. So it's a one-time use. It's, it's a hammer made out of glass. Right. I'm mean, like basically breaking a bottle over your head. Yes. That's fantastic. So. Which I have a question. They're asking, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, replayability. Uh huh. With action. Understanding that the you know, the there's customization in the deck building. Yes. Does it feel samey playing the, the same faction? Well, like? I mean, I guess I guess you could say any kind of game like this is going to feel samey because. You're, in essence, doing the same thing, but you can employ different strategies, different tactics, depending on uh, the different kinds of power cards you have, uh, the objective cards you choose to put into your deck. Um, there's a number of different ways that you can, um, um, that it feels different. You, yeah. you, I mean, the faction that you play will feel different from another faction that's played. I think this is the kind of game that you're probably gonna wanna go like narrow and deep, which means once you're really familiar with these cards, once you know your faction well, A, turns are gonna, like games are gonna take very short amount of time. Yes. But B, you're not having this whole like, oh, what's this do again? Like, I'll read this, Ethereal Shield, boom, I know what that does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So no, I think the replayability is, the learning curve is high, so the replayability is gonna sort of follow it. Yes. All right. I would imagine. I would. I would guarantee. So you've played only one. You don't want to play I mean, more. Do than I that? keep going? Yeah, because I, I don't. Sure I don't have any. I, I can't. I don't have any points, so I can't upgrade anything. So it's all you. You can choose to wait and maybe wait until a power step, or you can build everything you can right now. It's, it's up to you. Is where are the defense ones? Uh, black. They're always so shields show up more than the swishy. I mean, let me explain something to you real quick. Uh, something I didn't do. These two symbols right here, that and this. All right. If, for example, if if this were the case, mm -hmm. and you have a supporting attacker that is a, that is adjacent to my dude, mm -hmm. then and you have one more than me mm -hmm. um, on the attack die. This symbol also counts as a success if you are basically outnumbering me. Mm -hmm. Now, if this were the case, you would, and he was, he was the attacker, this, it, we would even out. But if, um, if this were the case, you would still get it because you're both attacking this guy. So mm -hmm. you get this. Now, this one is if something like this happens, or you have two more than I do. Mm -hmm. And he's the attacker. And okay. then both this and that will count as hits or defenses in the other way around. Okay. So, for example, if this guy was attacking him, these guys would allow both of these to be attacks. I got it. Okay. If, for example, this guy is attacking him, then... It would be even because he has one support, I have one support. But if this guy were attacking him, I would have the extra support. Right. All right? I got it. Okay. That's the last thing. I'm just trying to like not forget where these came no, I, from. No, I remember where they were. What about that guy? You sure? Positive. Yes, me too. That's fine. I'm messing with you. Ow! <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to give one of these nerds 
longest. The ability to roll shields because I saw they were more prevalent. Longest in phase ever! And it's going to be this guy here. Okay. You can roll shields instead of uh, swishes or whatever. Okay, I'm done. You're done? All right. Now uh, we've played upgrade cards. And now we can discard any unwanted up, uh, power cards. Those are uh, any of these? Yes. You can discard any ones that you want. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discard. Mm, I think I'm good. That. And. That's it. All right. So now we've uh, we've done that. We draw back up to our original three and five. So draw back up until you have three. Um, objective cards and five power cards. Right. Now we roll off again using four dice. Four now. Take it! I got one. I'm going first. No! Is this the dude you gave that big old hammer to? No, I'm not that dumb. Okay. It was this guy. I'm not going to, like, you know, I wasn't going to hinge it on. I, I gambled, but not that Who much. Who is this guy? We call him Earl. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. He has three damage. Oh, he's your... No, he's not your king. Okay. Do we move these now? Yes. And flip them back over to the blue side. The fancy side. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Where's your king? He's over there, big guy over there. He's way taller than everybody else. Yeah, he is. Wow. Okay. okay. <clears throat> He's that guy way over there. He's that guy over there. Oh, can't get to him. <laughs> um, you can't touch this. You can't touch this. I love me these rats. All right, we're going to... Uh, That's him, the flame bearer. The flame bearer? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like that. Mm. Ooh, yes. Indeed, you are powerful as the emperor has foreseen. What? I'm sorry, I'm thinking out loud, that's dangerous. Think out loud, it's not gonna help me. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> okay. We're going to go one, two, three <laughs> with Mailgram. Oh, wait, that's bad. And uh, we're going to do the... Yeah, you're getting a call telling you, stop, desist, do not engage, <laughs> the filthy rats. So I get I get three attack dice, and I can re-roll one attack die each time this fighter makes this attack action because he's using flaming axes. Oh, you got special stuff over here on this side. All right. All right, so we're attacking this guy. This is a charge, so do that. Um, mm -hmm. Is this guy? Yeah, yeah I think it's that it's guy. that guy. Um, and we're rolling for swords, got so two. I got two hits. Well, two successes, rather. And if I get a crit, I win still? That is correct, because I didn't roll oh, any crits. Weird. Well, it's it's critical defense. It's amazing, stupid rat. Okay, I'm going to play a card, I'm pretty sure. Uh, score this immediately. Is this a reaction? It's a okay. score this okay, immediately thing, I don't know. 
Score this immediately. If one of your fighters is the target of an enemy attack action with a dice characteristic of three or more, that fails. There you go. And I get one of these. Things. Yes, you do. Good job. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a good This is a power good step. Rat. Power step, power step. Um, let's see. Hmm. Now, during a power step, can I also use these, or is that only at the end of a round? <clears throat> no, during a power step, you can upgrade, yes. Okay. If you have the ability. Um, I am not going to do anything. So I'm passing my, my power step. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, Take a sip of my power juice. You in trouble now. <laughs> All right, now I'm not going to do anything Vernon either. Is trolling us. Of course he is. Vernon is trolling Vernon us. Vernon always <laughs> trolls us. <laughs> he said people want, us, uh, want you to paint um, zombie figures from, from last night. Oh, okay, I'm done then. We're both done? Yeah. Oh, you're passing. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to pass, too. Go ahead. I'm going to activate activation. My, my mega nerd over here, the main cat. Okie dokie. He's going to go... How far away is he from me right now? Like, One. he's got a distance of two. Yeah, so he's two away. You can just attack. I can just attack. Which okay. is the best option for you to do, because that yeah, leaves you... Still you can still move later. You can still move, and you can still attack. And is there a thing that's just attack? Nope. Nope, you can always attack any number oh, of times. Oh, I don't have to mark him at all. Correct. This cat, oh, man, that's my main <laughs> man. All right, I will attack you then. Um, and I guess I'm rolling two dice. Yeah. All right, and I am doing... Oh, man, I got I to gotta defend this. Or you're going to kill my dude. That's a miss, isn't it? No, that's one hit. <sighs> this is a hit. Poop. All right, here we go. Come on, defend. That is not a defense. So he's toast. All right, I'm going to play another card. Whoosh. Score this immediately. Yeah. If your warband takes an enemy fighter out of action while they are adjacent. They are not adjacent. To none. Hold on. Oh, uh, to none. Okay, gotcha. Okay, but this is while well, they, meaning just that one, that guy that died. Yeah. Yeah, read it. Okay. Let's see. Score this immediately if your warband takes out an enemy fighter out an enemy fighter out of action while they are adjacent to none of your fighters. Yes. Yeah. That is correct. Okay. I'm beginning to think that you have played this before. No, I haven't played this before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was your activation. Your uh, power step. Right. Power step. Oh. Hey, drop on my cards. What is this? Who is this guy? I think I'm good here. Um, so he went, but he only attacked. Why am I? No, go away. This guy is this guy. It's pretty sucky. Yeah, all right. I want to give this guy. Uh, he's in there. And you would be rolling a bunch of defense on him. I'm going to give this guy this hero slayer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
I'm kicking myself in the butt. Why? It'd be a completely different game if I had chosen to play the right card in the first power step of the game. I chose not to because I was greedy and I didn't do it. Oh, that's a lesson for you, man. It is a you lesson. You have to be like the rats, not greedy at all. <laughs> all right, let's see here. I'm going to... We're just happy with what we get, y'all. You gonna eat that? No. We're gonna okay with it. <laughs> just get that. We're gonna do Tefk. He is. Uh, oh, you think he's so tough? He's just going to uh, attack. Bring it. So we get two dice. Actually, you know that what? That dudes. We're gonna do three dice. We're gonna do the fire steel. Does this guy roll oh, down here, right? So we're gonna one. Do the fire steel axe. One shield is what I'm looking for. That's nothing. Do I need to roll? Nope. Go ahead. Oh, you got a power step. I'm not doing it. Nothing I can do. I'm going to... Um, that won't matter. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I don't think I need to do it either, so I'll pass as well, and then I'll go ahead and activate this guy. Lurking Skaven. Mm. Wait, who is he? Who is he? And these drawings of these guys are confusing me. Yeah, you gotta go by the. This. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I hadn't even seen that up there. This guy is this guy. Yes. Whoop. One, two, three, four. Charging, I imagine? Yeah. And so that now we're even. No, actually, I, I got one better on you because you're not bothering him, who's Correct. the attacker. Correct. Um, <clears throat> okay, he's going to attack you so with. Now the half circles are, are doing. Oh, for with this God. thing, it's only one die, though. I have to get lucky. One on one. So it's hammer or crit? Uh, hammer, crit, or half symbol. Oh, half so symbol. I got. It's a, oh, it's a 50 50. Okay. Z, do you get your point for killing the unit? Oh, yeah, you do. You do get a point for killing you. Oh, sorry. I Thank you. I did not realize that was a thing. I forgot it. I was wallowing mm -hmm. in my self-pity. That's a hit. But that's probably a defense. That's a shield. Yeah. Look at you go, bro. Come on. You got this. Shut you did up. good. Stop patronizing me. <laughs> um, all right, so power step. Uh, okay, I'm going to do... Um, Oh my goodness. If I do uh, an action, something that says action, and then something, it won't happen right now. I'm just giving them the ability to do it? No, that is an action that you can spend an activation token on if it's an up. I believe it's an upgrade, correct? It's a gear thing. Yeah, it's an upgrade. So you would attach that to a person, and then you would be able to use an activation to use that text, whatever it says. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot that some of my dudes should be inspired, I think. What is their inspiration? No, but it has to be a sword type deal, not a gear thingy. What does it say? They're all, they all say uh, player chooses this fighter when using a ploy. Inspires this fighter when using a ploy. All right, so have you used a ploy on any of your guys before? A ploy is the sword thing, right? Yes, that's correct. I thought I, I gave think somebody you have. a sword. No, you, no. Don't, you don't give somebody a sword. You give them upgrades. The ploy card is used once and then if somebody is the target of a ploy oh no 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 I haven't done any that's, of that stuff that's the whole thing okay um, so yes I am going to give Let's someone then a this. thing I'm going to spend one of these this fighter yeah and I'm going to give this to to uh, this guy so this, he has a new action, I guess, that lets him run away? That's correct. Right? Well, I don't know what the flip thing does, but yes. Says, now, you can activate him and use that as your activation. Right. Okay. So that's what he's got. And so I'm passing. Yeah, no, passing. And you're no, passing. we got to go so. back and forth. Right. So yeah, I'm done. Just one thing. So now... Um, Uh, 
I'm going to activate Tefk again. Move him back here. Okay. And he has moved. Okay. This guy's back here going. <laughs> He's good. He's staying out of it. What's going on in there, guys? <laughs> He's and I am, uh, um, I am going to play just because we shall not be moved. Friendly, this is the one I should have played in the original because I would have held that, um, and I would have been able to play that during the end phase, sure, and sure. all three of my guys would have been. Not moved. Com well, okay. th they would have all they they all would be inspired. Oh, well, well, I see. That was a huge bad decision for me at the beginning of the game. Anyway, playing this now, so guys that are holding objectives cannot be driven back. Okay. I can still slaughter them though. Yes. <laughs> cool. Yes, you can still kill them. <laughs> you just can't drive them back. All right. Um, and I'm not gonna play any. I think. Yeah. All right. So it's your activation then. Why would I want to do this? Yeah, oh. They're asking if you, could, um, if you could put your glory points so they could see them on the screen. What, are they trolling me right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's so messed up. That's so that wrong, is man. so messed up, That's Internet. That's so wrong. Wow. Wow. Dude, I felt bad. I felt that one. I know. That's I'm cold. I'm sure you did. It's cold that as ice, cold. man. That is cold. It's cold as ice, man. All right, dude. I'm going to go ahead and trigger somebody. Who's the wounded guy right now out there? Him. Him? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> and he's only got one hit point left, so just yeah. about any, any one of your guys on a successful attack will kill him. Right, right, right. Well, I want to get some of these guys into into the fray, so to speak. I do got my uh, shade glass warhammer, but that would be a waste. This guy is him. He's only got adjacency, though. I cannot move through my own people. Mm, that's a good question. Um, move, rat! <laughs> I'm trying to get to that dude. He's bleeding. Yes. He's bleeding. Move. Uh, the animal. They cannot move through occupied hexes. Okay. I'm sorry I slapped you, rat. <laughs> well, then, in that case, I will trigger this fellow. My main dude, and he's gonna go um, one. Doesn't really matter where I go because I have. <coughs> I could actually attack from one farther away, but that's okay. Well, mm, not necessarily, because right? I've only moved. I haven't attacked. Oh, oh, so if you oh, move yeah. next to me and yeah, attack, can, can unless attack me, if you yeah. kill me, you're good. Yeah, no, but if you yeah. don't kill me, I will be able to no, attack. Here's right. the thing that keeps throwing me off. Is this one space away from you? No, it's two. Because it's one, two. No, no, I know. But like, is this the same thing as this? Yes. That's what I mean. Why are you like running backwards, dude? Where is, which way is he facing? His head oh, is here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I keep pointing with the pointy part. <laughs> I'm uh, going. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> he doesn't even. Have, he's he's a little squeamish. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna attack Can't that guy. Can't stand the of blood. All right, and I roll two dice. I'm looking for hammers. You're gonna. Crits. You're gonna kill him. Uh, you're good. Oh snap! Look at that man. The, the tide tides, is turned. The tides are turning. Not. All right, so now. So it's now my I can do a thingy. Oh yeah, power step. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Oh. Done. You're not doing anything? Nah. Is it I was asking um, UZ if, uh, if you're liking this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not my usual kind of game, you know what I mean? This is 
This is not something I uh, normally partake in. It's a small scale skirmish game, but I'm enjoying it. I'm not doing anything. So my activation. Um, and I do like this, you know, I, I, I'm not a big Warhammer oh. connoisseur or anything, but I, I've always liked the idea of this, Gavin. Gonna go one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. You better run. I can still see your fl floppy hair dress over you the can't. front. All right, your uh, your activation, Thur. Uh, buh, buh, buh. So you're passing, passing. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, okay. Um, let me see. That guy moved though, so he we moved, need to mark him. He as moved him. Um, he's this guy. Can he moved move. and attacked. Oh yeah, he did. Right, so just so, flip it over. Just oh, flip it over. Okay. Um, that guy just moved back there. Right, I mark him. He moved. Yes, thank you. Oh, da, 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 da. No, when a guy moves and attacks, he doesn't. He cannot attack again. He cannot. But if do he anything. never moved, he can just attack, and that doesn't mark him. That's correct. Interesting. You can attack as much as you want. You can only move once, and but you can you only move charge. And, once. And if you combine move and attack, it's called a charge, and then you can't attack correct. anymore. Correct. Right? A guy that moves and attacks cannot move or attack for the rest of the round. But a guy that just moves, he can attack as much as he's able. Interesting. Interesting. Trade. I'm not playing a power step. I'm not playing a power card, so. You are out of um, activation, because it's about to be the last one, yeah? Yes, it is. All right, then. I am going to play one, I believe. I'm getting my butt kicked. This guy with is... A rat's dirty boot. No, I don't need to do it. Oh, but he can't do anything. Oh, right man, you so. get another three points of them. <laughs> so I can do... This guy is there. I want to leave him there. This nerd is here. <laughs> and this guy... It's way back so here, So what are they right? saying now? How much are they making fun of me now? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do this one. Sudden skittering that I've been threatening to do for a while. Um, double the move characteristic of the first friendly fighter you make a move with, but, 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 he may not make a charge action. Still. He's going to run. But that means you move 10. <laughs> My goodness gracious. I'm going to bite you in the neck next turn. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing that, and now this cat is inspired. Yes, because he was the target of an employee of a ploy card. I feel pretty, <laughs> oh so pretty. I am filthy and shiny and slime is my buddy. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna do his thing. Okay, he's just running over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow! I'm in your face. I'm gonna steal your headdress. Is that your headdress? That's a nice headdress. <laughs> That's a nice feather. <laughs> That's a nice broom. All right. Oh, here it comes. More taunting and trolling. No, no, no. Bernie has a question. He's asking. Oh, sure, oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be bad sure no matter what is, it is. Sure, this is directly Solid on Solid commentary from... He's asking if, um, if you picked this up and wanted to play it with Colin, his, his son, um, could he play it without the cards? Without the cards yeah, and just give each person a move characteristic? Yeah. You could do that. Hmm. I guess. You just, I mean, you're just, at that point, you're just moving things around the board and attacking with them. Yeah, you could definitely do that. You get points for maybe, uh, yeah. Killing, uh, well, you, 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 you get glory points for, for killing an, uh, an opposing character. So, yeah. Tell him just and whoever has the most points at the end of the game. Tell him to go buy a chess set. He's already got a bunch of miniatures. <laughs> Replace the chess pieces with miniatures. And then every time you would capture, just roll some dice. All right. We're at. Uh, there. In I just phase. saved you some money. End phase. So score your objectives. So okay, so first passed. you get three more for this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, Let me double check. You get that every turn. I think you do. I don't want to give you more than of what you already have and a plethora of. This isn't going to work. Uh, um, or rather, is it a plethora? Not an a plethora. My bad. Sorry, I'm giving myself an English lesson. Go away. No, I'm interested. Oh, this is something I didn't read. This guy is also inspired. Man, this dude didn't even know it. Ha! 
Mm, nope. As long as you hold it, you get the glory points. Like each, each of the three. It says the the ages. the warband yeah. holding the kid friend artifact gets three glory points. All right. So. Good. All right. Well, I was right. It's definitely raising the number of points scored. What do you mean? Well, I knew this was going to raise the number of points scored. I just thought it was going to be a little got bit it, more Got it, got it, got it. Because normally it's a smaller scoring game, you mean? Because, well, well think six about of it. these wouldn't be in play. Correct. Right. Correct. So, okay. So I just got that. Yeah, okay. So now you, you score objectives. Do you have any objectives you could score? No. Okay. I don't either. So now we can discard unwanted objectives. Yeah, I am going to do that. Um, which the likelihood of this happening? Exactly. Is That's what I'm doing too. Kind of just we have one more likelihood. Yeah, we have one, one one more round. That could happen. Um, this could. Yeah, this possibly is neat, man. Happen. This is a cool game. At, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna keep those. Again, right. this is not my usual thing, folks. But but right. yeah, I'm enjoying it. The objectives. That's neat. This seems like a small scale Nexus Ops or something, but more dice. Char I mean, it's neat. It's neat. I'm going to... All right, now you can play power cards, which well, means Sam, now you can upgrade. Or at least um, talk again about those, those three points that you're talking about. This is a, this is a variant rule. This uh, artifact right here, this spot on the board, this is a, a sixth objective that is being added to this game. You don't have to play with this. It's, a, it's an alternative rule. And it's an artifact that... that is linked to the lore of where these guys are fighting. It, it's like part of a key that is used to get out of this underworld and go back to the land of the living. So if you're holding this, you get three points. Um, I can't say where it's only, I can't find in the rules where it says that it's only once. So I'm assuming that every time you score objectives, you get three points. Might not be the case, but I don't know. So that, that's what this is. It's, it's an alternative rule that isn't normally in the game. Uh, no, I'm not playing anything else I think you're saying. Okay. Um, no, if don't take it easy on me. No, no, if no, I don't you have anything else do. I can play. Okay, good. I don't think, I mean, I don't think I want to play any other stuff. All right, cool. Now we go to, um, we just did un, uh, upgrade cards, and so now we can discard unwanted power-ups. Right. So I'm going to discard this guy. Um, what does being on guard mean again? You roll for that, both? It, it means that both of these count as a success. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm not going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep it just in case. Yeah, okay. Now we draw. Um, and now you can draw back up to three and five respectively, yes. All right, so I draw one power card and one. Ooh, sweet. That's neat, man. <laughs> Poop. All right, hey. Also cool. All right, this one's gone. Whoa, yeah, yeah. These are awesome. That's great to hear. All right, here we go. Oh, Roll man. Off. Oh, you're going to bleed so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, Z, will you be throwing away your Nerosha Hex set? <laughs> <laughs> night and day, folks. Probably night not. and day. Yeah. Hey, come on, man. we got to roll initiative. All right. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Will you keep going? Yep. Nothing. One, two. Okay. All right. So you can choose to go first, or you can have me go first. I will, it's I guess, go first, yeah. All right, go for it. Yeah, let me. Boop. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Okay, that dude over there you told me has one health point left. Is that this, this guy? Oh, this guy. Okay, this guy. Oh, I missed with the. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, wait. He's inspired now because he was holding that objective. Okay. Cool. So now he has two hit points left instead of just one. All righty. Oh, okay, he does, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. This guy, I think, hits for two anyway. So I will go ahead and do that. He's going to attack, but since he's not going to move, that's I don't right. have to mark him. That's correct. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that then. I'm rolling two dice, and I'm looking for war hammers or crits. 
Ouch. Man. Missed. So that's two so hits. Dead. And I get a victory point apparently when that, that happens. Correct. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Then I could do stuff from here. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, where is he? He's over here. Is there a line of sight in this? Yes. Um, so, for example, this guy doesn't have line of sight on this guy because you can't shoot through units. Uh, as the same, this guy doesn't have line of sight on this guy because of this, nor here either, but here he would. Okay, so yes, there is line of sight. Yes, there is line of sight, but it's it's pretty simple. It's like center of top of hex to center Correct. of hex kind of deal. Correct. Correct. Yeah. All right, what now, Kenny? Come on, share with us. <coughs> uh, Vernon's saying no slots for Sam. Bad luck is going to follow him to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, to clarify, there was going to be no slots anyway, but yes, that is probably true. I just... I'm gonna stand next to Z whenever he whenever he plays the slots. <laughs> no man, get away from me. <laughs> um, some of these are restricted to specific people. Yes, they are. Mm, okay. Well then, no, I can't. I'm not gonna do anything. Okay, right. so no power step, and I'm not gonna do a power step either. So it becomes my activation. Okay. Yeah, trigger. I forgot to mark them. Oh, what was this guy? Vol is going to attack um, a little dude. little dude over there. Is this guy here. And I'm rolling two, and I'm looking for swishes. And I'm looking for hammers or crits. And I didn't get any either of them. Oh, I'm wait. sorry, I just dropped it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, but you were like, <laughs> All right, that's that's one. Go ahead. All right. Oh, um, power set. Right. Um, he is this guy. This guy. That's who he is. Don't care. Don't care. Can't do anything about it. Can't do anything about. It. Yep. Nothing. Man, I don't like that these are so restrictive, though. For I mean, it's just I kind of have to get used to it, but. Anything either. I'll go ahead and attack with uh, this guy. Okay. Into that spot, the guy adjacent to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, shade glass hammer. Okay. If it's successful, it's destroyed. And mm -hmm. on a crit, it does four damage instead. It does three. four instead. So I'm rolling two dice. <laughs> I'm looking for war hammers or crits. Nothing. Good. All right, um, power step? No. Uh, I'll go ahead and give this guy throwing stars. You got ninja rats now? He's, it's, it's tied to him. Can I ever, like, move something I gave to someone else before? No. It's too, too bad. To I don't believe. The, uh, the upgrades, um... Restricted to his nameless dudes can be extra good because they stay on the unit if it is resurrected. Yeah, but I don't okay. think I don't think either of these can resurrect. E neither of these factions can resurrect their people. I don't think. So. Uh, oh wait, maybe uh, I think yeah. Uh, Spike Hall, you, you read his special text there. If you're the least you always one have crit, this attack action swarm. has cleave. And the other the action one though. I think you can bring people Place back. a friendly fighter that was taken out of action yeah. other than Kirk. 
whatever. Other than him. Other than this guy. Yeah. On any starting hex and remove all their wound counters. Oh, so yeah. I can bring I forgot they, back. I forgot he had that ability. Dude, I like this faction, yeah. It's really good. Filthy rats. I love them. I These love guys rats. are better. I just played them wrong. Very wrong. And Sam, what is your favorite faction and uh, why? Orcs. Uh, I, they have a good balance of... Um, See, one of the things that got got me messed up here is that I was trying to hold. I again, it was random. We didn't know which ones they were, but right. objectives one, two, and three were, were right here. Right. And I had a card in my hand. We'll just pause for a minute here. It was tactical genius. I got it in my hand originally. I was like, that's never going to happen. And then objectives one, two, and three showed up right next to me, which was like, oh wow, I could I could actually pull that off in the first round. Right. And so I sent my guy here immediately. That I pushed to hold to. objective one, because I had one guy here that could have gone here, one guy here that could have gone there. But I should have played that so I don't move before you. he got attacked so he didn't get moved. And if I would have done that, I would have had, at the end of the first round, I would have had three guys inspired, I would have had three points, um, and I would have just been in a lot better position. Yeah, the fact that you can't add... Upgrades to these guys unless you're making victory points. It seems a, like a smackdown when you're already losing. It's you know a rich I mean? get richer type thing, yes. A little bit. Little but, bit. I mean, it just forces you. you got to play smart. I didn't play smart. That's the problem. Yeah. I'm dumb. No, I mean, I... I that does suck because once you fall behind, you... It's hard to fight back. Yeah. But, you know, All it right. is what it is. It wasn't the game's fault. It was my fault. So, I did this. You did that. You're not playing power cards right now, and I'm not going to play uh, power cards. I, That's where we're at. I think yeah, we're at I the power step. I'm, I forget if I played one or what, but anyway, no, I'm done. Okay. Um, how many points does this guy have? This guy is this guy. Life? Two. Two. All right. Um... We're going to go... Okay, we're going to go um, charge. We're going to go Malgram. And we're going to go one, two, three. And we're charging and hitting that dude. Oops. You did hit him. <laughs> and so I'm going to get three dice. Okay. And I get uh, two. I don't know how many. This guy here. Two defense, and I'm looking for swishes. Wow. Two, two dice and swishes, yep. Oof. Mm, that is a hit and a crit. Oof. So you have to roll a crit and a defense. No. Nothing. All right, so he does two damage. And he's dead then. Yes. Right? So he's dead. That was a charge. <clears throat> Now, what's the story with his goodies here? They're gone, but they stay with him in case I bring him back. What? This guy. This will stay with him if it comes back. The other one goes that back one goes in my away. hand. Goes away. Tell me it goes back in goes my hand. Goes away. Come on, man. All right, so that was a ferocious charge. Uh, score this immediately if a friendly fighter takes an enemy fighter out of action with a charge action. Got it. So I get... Why are you taking one of mine? <laughs> <laughs> Got what so is, many. What is happening? All right. All right. So um, that is Ferocious Charge. Now it comes to my power step. What is my territory when something says my territory? Huh? When something refers to my territory. Just this half of the map, yes. basically? not including this one stripe down the middle here. Okay. And so everything over here is my territory, everything over here is your territory. And this is the dividing line right here. All right. Um, powers. Got it. Um, so those guys are both perfectly healthy. No, that one can't happen. Okay. I'm not playing any powers, power cards. Mm. Your turn. These restrictions are... Is there a way for me to draw more of these cards during the round? Yeah, you, you can... 
Use activations. I told you that at the beginning of the game. Right, right, right. You can right. use activations to draw a power card up into your hand, or you can use an activation to discard a an objective card and draw one. But that's like instead of like instead fighting of doing, with a dude. yeah, you're using one of your four activations to do that. That's rough sauce. But maybe, maybe, man, one card, huh? Yes. Oof. Is that worth it? Probably not. Um, you know what? I'm going to play this just because. Um, it's my power step, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm going to play Indomitable. So the first time a friendly fighter suffers damage in the next activation, they only suffer one damage. So. Okay. I'll be sure to not attack you this time. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's still... <laughs> that would be the better choice. <laughs> because uh, then I wouldn't take any damage. But at <laughs> least if right. I do take some damage, it's only going to be one. It's true. So smart. What am I gonna do? I don't think I'm playing any of these cards anyway. Okay, so your activation. My moan activation. Okay, you get point for the for killing his unit. That's it. Oh no, I didn't. That's right. I only got one. Well, oh, you got my, a card also. Card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh Don't no. call it a comeback. I've been here for years. <laughs> <laughs> I am activating this guy. He moves five. Uh, That's right, slink back into the hole from whence you came, you dirty animal. Four. That's right, keep going, you weasel. Five? Is that a Very good, you can count, you dirty mongrel. <laughs> 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 All right, he's done. He's hanging out. Power step. Uh, I'll do this. Musk of fear. <laughs> Can you smell it? Yes, I smelt it as you run by, you filthy beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose a friendly fighter and put them on guard. Okay. I can show you the world. Right? Is that what it means? That is correct. And now this dude is inspired as well, but he's already inspired. So, yes. yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to use an activation to um, draw a power card. And that didn't work. Go ahead. Oh, wait. My power's gone. Wow, that's crazy. Was I first? Yeah, I guess I was first. Man, that is expensive. Sacrificing yeah. a, a whole activation of a dude to draw one card. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I gotta. I gotta check something. Pushing. Uh, I'm. I'm. I don't know. I'm imagining that. I don't pushing. know, Kenny. Push, 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 push. When a rule tells you to push a fighter, simply move their miniature number of hexes specified by the rule in any direction unless specified otherwise. But I'm assuming that when you push something, it follows the same movement rules, like you can't push through somebody else. That makes sense, right? I guess so. I don't know. Push is another exception. Okay, what are you doing? Simply move their miniature number of hexes. That nothing can move a fighter into or through a hex that is blocked or occupied unless otherwise. But push is not a move action and does not prevent a fighter push taking it. a move action mm -hmm. later in the phase. Similarly, when a fighter is driven back, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I cannot Push it, it real good. I cannot mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like your Scottish accent, but can you do Welsh? No. I don't even know the difference between Welsh and Scottish. And I've been told by Scottish people that my Scottish accent is horrible. So I, I fully apologize to Scottish people. I, that is a Hollywood Scottish accent. It is not a real one. All right. And Hollywood, as we all know, a, is in Ireland. It's, it's more of a Michael Myers Scottish accent than, than anything else. Uh, um... Yeah, I'm going to play this just because I can. I don't, don't want do to. Um, treasure Lust. Them dwarves. They want that gold in the mountain. Choose a friendly fighter and push them up to three hexes. 
They must end up holding an objective. Going back home. One, two, three. Interesting. And he's already moved, but that transcends the movement. Go ahead. That was my power steps. Uh, I think I'm. So I think up. I'm good. Yeah. That was the card I just drew too, so it it worked. No, I think I'm done. All right. Uh, so for my last thing, then I will uh, draw a card. Actually. Oh, you are. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Come on! Crap! All right. Um. I'm going to do the same okay, thing. Okay, wait, I got to do a oh, thing, right? Power step, go ahead, go ahead. That won't matter. Go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't. I, did, I didn't draw the thing I wanted or I was hoping for. So. <gasps> wait a minute. Oh, then I am doing it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me throw a little chicken sauce in it. Mm. <laughs> this one is garbage. This one is bad. This one is... What is that? No. Okay. You done? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go All for right. It. I'm going to play War Song on Vol. <laughs> Vol's, Vol's bellowed battle hymns have been known to cause rock slides. <laughs> spot on. <laughs> that's folks. the treasure hex. It's spot on. That's the treasure stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, that's the uh, flavor text, rather. This <laughs> fighter is considered to be two supporting fighters when they support rather than one. So if he's supporting, instead of just giving the, the, the minor benefit, he's also going to give the major benefit right. of so attacking. But. Were you the one? Was that after me? No, I could play now. <laughs> Uh, yes, but however, I, get, I have another card that I can play. It's uh, Yeah, but I can play now, right? This is a reaction. This happens immediately oh, when okay, this happens. Go ahead. So play this after you upgrade a fighter in an action phase. They can make a move or attack action. Right now. So we're going to attack him. Yeah. So that's going to be two dice. And Man. it's going to be three, three damage. So here we go. You got your defensive Where characteristics. Where is this guy, right? It's the dude with the prehensile tail over there. Yeah. So he's rolling two, and I'm looking for switches, it looks like. All right, so that's nothing. I thought he was getting support by himself or something. No, 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 no. When he supports, he's not the supporter oh. right now. He's the attacker. So nothing happens. All right, then I can still do a thingy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? It doesn't matter. Not used to this. At least it wasn't a shutout. I want to do this. She's gonna play on anyone, I guess. No, I guess I, it, this isn't target. This doesn't target anyone, so it wouldn't inspire anyone. It says choose an enemy fighter and choose one of their upgrades. Roll an attack die on a roll of warhammer or crit. That upgrade is discarded. Okay. So I'm gonna try to take away his. This. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Uh, any one of these, right? So Warhammer or Crit? No. Nope. Come on, man. That's like pouring salt in my wound. <laughs> Just in case. That's it, right? You drew a card with the last thing? Oh, no, you're I going didn't. to. No, you, 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 you did the power step. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Do you think? Uh, Have you guys um, built the decks? You, you drafted. I mean, you didn't draft. You rather you, you pre built them before the game started. Yeah. What, what we what we agreed on to do is we used every single faction specific card that came for both of our decks first, and then that that's like nine uh, objective cards, and I think there were twenty power cards that are faction specific that can't be used Sorry. for any other faction. <coughs> Excuse me. So we used those cards first, and then we filled up with the other cards that came in these sp specific expansions. We didn't use anything else from any other card deck that has been released thus far because I believe every card that comes into this in this box, even the generic ones, are different than anything that's been printed out yet. I think I, I could be wrong there, so don't quote me on that. But that's what we did. So we each have like three three generic uh, objective cards in our mm -hmm, decks, mm -hmm. and then we each have 10 generic uh, power cards in our decks. That's right. So we, we did that specifically because I wanted to see, I wanted to rely more upon what was specific to these specific, uh, well, how many times can this be specific? At least once more. 
Specifically, I should stop doing that. It's all about the specificity. <laughs> all right, uh, so it's my last activation, yeah? Yeah. Um, mm, well, we're just going to try to take that guy out again. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> Do it. All right, so um, we got two dice. So this guy swishes. Yep, and you got two blacks for swishes, right? Yeah. That's a crit, baby. Yeah! That's three damage, Bubba. He's dead? That's right. Some, somebody going to die? Just call me the Ratinator. Did you get a point for that for killing? I him? did. Take All it. Right. Let's see, can I score any of these things? No. No. These are both leader things. Poo poos. All right. So that's my last activation. We go. We actually do go through a power step right now. Okay. So um, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to play one because I can't. Well, I'm going to do this. <coughs> It's a reaction, actually, so I should have done it as soon as he died. Okay, go ahead. It says, play this uh, after an action, after an attack action takes uh, a friendly fighter out of action, uh -huh. push up to two friendly fighters, one hex each. Oh, friendly fighters. Yeah. Oh, one I thought I pushed each. your guys. Nah. Then I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, getting, then, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> then no, I don't care. We slinked back into our, our territory, and we knocked you out of it, so we're good. Man. All right, so basically you're going to get, do you have any objectives that you can score during the end round? Yeah. Go ahead and do that. I got so just the one a, here. This one, score this in the third end phase if your leader's in your territory and not adjacent to an enemy. There you go. So I got one. Yep. And uh, I don't have any objectives that I can score. Both of them were uh, by, for my leader, so he's already dead. So... The score is three to a whole lot, a lot to a little. Well, technically, six of these came from the thingy. Yeah, but no, I mean that's that's still part of this this round. I would have got another three though, right now. Yeah, oh. you would have. You would have gotten nine. The thing is like such a big deal though. It is. I, again, I didn't put up a fight for it like I should yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's I mean, like that where is the, the that fight guy is literally. Centered, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that dude is just hanging out there drinking and margaritas. It could be. It could be that you're only supposed to get it once. Maybe. But I don't, that's the case, I don't see where that's the case, but then, maybe it is. Yeah. But anyway, a lot to a little. You won. Well done. Yeah, man. Good that was job. Cool. I guess I'm, a, I'm just a good teacher. That's what it is. He wins no matter what, folks. <laughs> <laughs> if he wins, he's good at the game. If he loses, he's good at the teaching of the game. Yes. That's how you do it, folks. That's right. All right, so that is Warhammer Underworld Shadespire with the brand new factions that are just uh, releasing. Um, the chosen axes of the dwarves, which were the orange models, and then the spike claws swarm, which are the Skaven brown rat models over here. And that is it. Normally for, for example, tournament play, we would actually play uh, up to three matches. Mm -hmm. So uh, whoever won the first one, if the same person won the second match, that would be the end of it. You basically just play two out of three best, for, for a best, tournament. Best, best of three. Out of three yeah. um, but again, like th we did a lot of stopping and pausing, and uh, it has uh, only been an hour and a half. Right. So we did a lot of, uh, first of all, rules. And then we stopped a couple times during the game right. to explain different things that were going on. So uh, these, this is really a 30 to 45 minute game easy uh, for a three round game of it. Uh, right, so right, it's, right. Uh, that's one of the things I really like about it, how quick it is and how easy it is to pick up. Uh, did you feel okay with it? With the, with the length, you mean? Well, not just with the game, with understanding how the game flows, yeah, 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 yeah. gameplay. Yeah, it's not... It's not too complex. <laughs> yeah, it's fairly straightforward. And again, I think familiarity here is going to go a long way with both playing quickly and uh, understanding how your group, your specific faction works, all of those things. So mm -hmm. going from zero to wherever I'm at right now already, I feel fairly familiar with what's going on. So yeah, I could see someone who gets into this and plays... I mean, after three matches or so, and I mean three games, you're probably... 
you can play this pretty quickly and you're probably going to feel really comfortable with it. So, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Well, um, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a little bit of a Q&A session with Z because uh, I've got to set up the next game and kind of brush up on the rules here for a little bit. So we're just going to take a few minutes, maybe I'd say about 15, 20 minutes maybe. That long? How long yeah, is that maybe. Thing? No, it's not very long. I just got to, I've read the rules a couple times, but it was a few days ago. So You're just going to set it up, right? Yeah, I'm going to set it up and then while you're continuing, I'll, fine. I'll brush up. And then I got to tear this down too. So uh, go all ahead right. and start firing off questions. I'll take care of all this. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, we were thinking that after we played this, you could. One more thing. Go check out GameMad.eu. They've got some great terrain. Yeah. Great, great play mats and stuff like that. We didn't use play mats today, but uh, they've got great stuff over there. Go check them out. Yeah, this helped out. It's, it looks neat. Little little thematic, you know, inclusion. I liked it. Um, anyway, we were thinking that you could, uh, since it was my first play of this, that we could keep it about the game and what I thought and my, you know, other games of its ilk, that sort of thing. But you guys can ask whatever you want. And I will answer or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's the, uh, the next thing? Okay, so the next game we're playing is called Siege Storm, and I don't know anything about it. It's something Sam told me he wanted to play. I said, yeah, sure, let's play it. It looks like a small card game sitting over there. But again, I don't know anything about it. I will say the one thing about this game that I don't like is having to put models together. I am so not a miniatures guy when it comes to that stuff. I don't paint. I don't build these things and I was looking at the diagrams that come in here these were put together already by Sam I assume but I was looking at the diagrams that come in here for putting all these little guys together and whoa no and, they, and these are not even that hard I can tell I me mean, this is no these are the easy ones yeah these are pretty straightforward but uh, that's one of those things that's just not really not for me that kind of thing but you know I would do it once I guess if I had to how do you compare this to like your to rum and bones as far as well, this feels much more strategic than rum and bones rum and bones is um rum and bones is sort of like a wacky action movie it's kind of how it feels the action is faster paced in rum and bones but there is a lot of like you know doing this and seeing what happens this is, um, this feels a little more like a precision-based battle in many ways. Yes, you're still rolling dice. Yes, you're doing all that stuff. This is a little slower, as in cadence-wise, and a little more precise. That's just how it feels to me. Again, I have played this stuff. I've played one time, so I don't know. But that, that doesn't mean I don't like one more than the other necessarily. I, I think I prefer... The goofy nature of Roman Bones more, but that's partly also because I'm not familiar with or invested in the Warhammer universe. I don't know very much about it at all. So maybe that's partly why. Though I do like the Skaven. I've always liked the Skaven. Z, do you generally like games with minis as long as you don't have to model or paint them? Okay, so I might have to repeat your question if they can't hear you. I don't know. Uh, so the question is, do I generally like minis as long as I don't have to paint them or build them? And the answer is yes, absolutely. I love minis. I have a few games that have minis. but And, I, and, and it doesn't even matter that they're minis that are unpainted. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. In fact, I'm, I often just prefer minis that look clean because I can read them on the board well. So, yeah, absolutely. I like games with miniatures. Um... And I like the grandiose nature that they're able to pull off these days. You know, companies like we were just talking about, Simon Limited, you know, they can do amazing stuff. As long as I don't have to put together a bunch of parts. How do you like the fixed duration of the game? Three rounds, four turns per player. How do I like the fixed duration of the game? Three rounds, four turns per round per player. Yeah, I like that a lot. My only concern a little bit is the, and this is not a big deal because it applies to both players, but the idea of having to spend one twelfth uh, of your game to draw a card, that's, that seems harsh. 
that seems like, you know, don't do it unless you absolutely must do it. I don't know. So that, that seemed a little powerful. Um, other than that, I, I like the fixed duration. I, I, I want it to have a clean end time. And if they can pack everything that the game offers into 45 minutes instead of two hours, then why not? Just play again if you like it that much. I'll never understand that argument. If you had to rate the game, what would you rate it? It's like a 4 out of 20 right now. <laughs> um... Uh, I don't know. It's like a 7.5, 7, 7.5 right now. It's good. That is an approved seal of approval there, baby. Yeah. <clears throat> I approve of this game, and I condone this message. Asking, can you teach Sam Elos to play it live sometime? Not sure. Can I? <laughs> yes. Will, Will I? I? Probably not. <laughs> All right, let's put these back. Don't touch my rats, baby. Those are my rats. Batman versus hey. Shadespire. Uh, hmm. Ooh, that's a good question. That is a good question, huh? I like this better. Yeah. Do you like this better than Conan? There's a chance Z would really like Rebellion. Have you played Rebellion? No, I've never played it, no. Um, I think so, Sam, yeah. What? This, you said this and Conan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Conan, the theme. I like Conan because it's an all versus one. But I think the rules are a little iffy. The rule book was kind of disastrous when it first came out. Yeah. Um... It, I mean, they're kind of slightly different beasts, but it's at least, I mean, I like this as Pick much, I think, as Conan. Pick your faction. Um, I like this as much as Conan, I would say, about yeah. as much. But I like Conan from what I've played, again, of Conan and what I've played of the Batman game. I like Conan a little bit more than the Batman game just because I like Conan more for a board game. This is what we're playing, by the way. Yeah. Sea Storm. It's by Awakened Realms, the same people that did um, Lords of Hellas. And uh, this is a game that... Uh, oh, you guys played that live some time ago, yeah, right? Yeah, we did, yeah. So Lords of Hellas is that um, Greek mythology-themed game where there's you're building the... <clears throat> you're building the uh, statues, and it's a you know, dudes right. on a board kind of game. Right, right. Dudes on a map. Right? What else you got? Internet? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, does the deck building aspect interest you at all? To, you know? Yes, I like that stuff. I like being able to customize my own cards, what I bring to the table. I am, I've always enjoyed collectible card games, trading card games, whatever, and now the LCGs that are out there, I, I at least dabble in some of them. So any game that allows me to customize my group, my faction, my whatever, and bring them to the table, yes, I enjoy that. Now, I have a question for you, Sam. Yeah. If you're playing this against someone else who has their own set, can you play the same faction against itself? Yes. Uh, you just tell them apart because they would be painted, I assume. Uh, at that point, yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's cool, too. Rat on rat hate. What is the deal, man? Can they, like these uh, landscapers, wonder, man, they don't care. These landscapers like honey, don't Honey Badger landscaper don't care. They can't really hear it, though. Yeah, they can That's probably good. hear it. I don't know. Anyway. <coughs> are you interested in, the other, in uh, playing the other factions? In Shadespire? Maybe. How many are there? Five. No. Like? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's four in the base game or two in the base game? Two in the base game, and they've come out with four more. Oh, that's cool. What are they? You said orcs. Yeah, there's. Uh, this thing, in, you mean like not specific, like generally the rat people. The in, dwarves, in the base game, orcs. you have you have the uh, valiant knights, basically the it's like eternals. Humans. Yeah, human eternals, and then you have uh, uh, the bloodbound, which are the kind of cultist type people Sweet. serving the blood god type oh. guys. Um, and then you have the orcs. Right. And then you have the undead. It's and all then you good, have man. It's uh, all the, the two that we played. Okay, yeah, I would want to try some of those. Certainly the undead. They're going to be the life of the party. <laughs> okay. 
What else we got? This gets placed there. What? If you wore a Skaven, how do you think that would affect your working at the Dice Tower? If you wore a Skaven, how do you think that would affect question, your working at the that. Dice Tower? This is some abstract stuff, y'all. <laughs> They're coming up with some interesting, interesting stuff. That would probably impact my day-to-day uh, -to -day output, yes. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> it's bizarre stuff. Sam, are you going to be going over the rules? Yes. He will be, but he's looking it over <laughs> I, I'm first. I'm doing it right now, still, so it's... You can keep... Take, you can take keep, your time. I'll let you know when I'm ready. You keep giving me questions. I'll happy to answer. And you can open it up. If you're not... If you don't have anything else you want to ask me about uh, Shade Spire, then you can open it up a little bit if you'd yeah, like. Yeah, absolutely. Is Z or Sam better at games? Better at games? Who is better at games? <laughs> I can see you up there. Uh... I don't know who's better at games. What does that even mean? You regularly whoop me at my favorite game. You're better at games. I don't think I'm that good at games, but maybe I am. I have runs sometimes of, and I notice it when I like win three games in a row or something. So it must be rare if I notice like, ooh, I've won tonight a few times. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Shades Bar is pretty friendly to new players. It is. Um, it is. I new so. gamers, yes. Yeah. Like, I'm, and by that I mean new to this game gamers. New yeah, people that new, are not new to games, but people that are new to that game. Yeah, because if we're talking about like, hey, you know, Dad, you've never played uh, board games. <laughs> Jump in this. No. Does Z like emergent strategy or starting with a clear game plan in games like this? Oh, emergent for sure. I, I like tactics way more than strategy. I don't necessarily care for having a plan and putting it into effect over the next 90 minutes. I want to react to what's going on. I want to be able to jump from one foot to the other one and see what's going on. That's That keeps me interested. Not saying, this is how the machine's going to run, and every time it's my turn, I just push the buttons and run the machine, and I push the buttons and run the machine, and every now and then maybe you go, yeah, that's a point of contention. Let me push that away. And then back to pushing the button, running the, you know, no. I like being a tactician. Z, what's that hat about? Oh, it's a, uh, what is this hat? Uh, the oh, Haunted, that's the Haunted Game Cafe. The Haunted yeah. Game Cafe is a uh, board game cafe out in... Uh, Colorado. Colorado, yeah, thank you. Um, and I've been there, went there once for... I Denver, a, Colorado is where Mark lives, right? Yeah, yeah, it's in Denver or near Denver, I think. I forget exactly where it is, I'm sorry. Um, it's near Mark Street, yeah. And I went out there once for an extra life event. So, got a hat, and I love it. They're a great place. Would Dicer consider a live play of for the ring? Ooh. I don't think, uh, were you a big fan of it? I forget. No, I liked the game. I just didn't enjoy the rule book. Now that I know the game, yeah. I don't really, I don't think I would want to See, be that's a the thing. I don't know how good hidden movement games do live stream. I guess you'd have to be showing the hidden movement. Yeah, there, there'd be some them, kind of clever camera work that goes on there. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's worthy of it. I just don't know how we would shoot it so that it would be interesting to watch. <clears throat> I don't think I'm that interested in it myself. I don't, <coughs> don't care that much. Well, you like Hunt, you like uh, <clears throat> Fury of Dracula. Yeah, but I like that theme way more. Oh, you like the theme. That's why you like that is just because of the theme? No, no, no. I mean, not just that, but I like that theme. Hunting Dracula down, fighting his minions and stuff. You don't like the Lord of the Rings theme? It's okay. Okay. I like the movies, but it doesn't necessarily... We should make you Frodo, then. I'll be running? Is that the... Yes. For Sam, Shadespire or Mythic Battles Pantheon? Oh, those are two different bears. You gotta uh, pick. Those are two different bears. No, I don't have to pick, um, because they are two different kind of games. That's like saying uh, Monopoly or uh, Blood Rage. Blood Rage. That's really what that seems like to me. Yeah, they're both kind of. Which one's Monopoly in that scenario? Neither of them. Um, I tried. That was a. <laughs> no, I mean it's they're just two different bears. Um, uh, I think that while they're similar esque. I think Shadespire is is meant to be played in a much more like a tournament style format, quicker games, faster games. Whereas Mythic Battles is a lot more immersive. I don't know. Tell you why. Look, I'm gonna let's let's do this internet. 
Give me two things. Let's do an, an A or B round where the two things can be ran can be wildly different, and I'm still going to be able to pick one over the other. Let's do that. I'm going to prove Sam wrong that you cannot compare apples to donkeys. Here we go. It's true, you can. Technically, you can. I'm going to see. I'm going to give you. Okay. Ask us to do live playthroughs of Raiders of the North Sea with the expansions and Fury of Dracula. Yeah, Fury of Dracula live. Yeah, that would be that'd be fun. How have we done that? We did that, I thought, a long time ago. Uh, I don't think we did. We may have. God, like way back in the old uh, house. I, I, I remember when third edition came out, we played it. Yeah, I thought I we, don't know if I it was live. Played it live. I don't no? think it was live. All right, nothing. Go. Okay, trick taking games <coughs> or, or deck building games. Trick ta trick taking games or deck building games. Trick taking games. What else? Those are not random. Though. That was like those are both card games. Yeah, it's true. In our realm. Would you rather be a Skaven? Rather be a Skaven? Or, or the Haunted Game Cafe? The Haunted Game Cafe. I would rather be a Skaven. <laughs> Animate. Meeples or tacos? Meeples or tacos? I'm going to go with tacos on that one, baby. Delicious. What apples else? Apples or donkeys? I'm going to go with between apples and donkeys. Apples. Godfather Part 1 or Part 2? Godfather Part 1 or Part 2. I don't remember either film, actually. I think I've seen it, but... So I'm going to go with Apples. The Others or Azul? The Others or Azul? The Others. I like The Others more. Very immersive. Just read it. Don't judge it. Read it. <laughs> Amazon or coffee? Amazon or coffee? Amazon. Though I've been getting into coffee a little bit more lately. Yeah. Little Keurig, like little Keurig machine, is that what that is? Yeah, but it's not full of coffee, and it never was full of coffee, so don't don't judge me. That's Would okay. you rather play Star Wars Rebellion uh -huh. or Forbidden Stars? Star Wars Rebellion or Forbidden Stars? Rebellion is the two-player Star Wars game, right? Do you even know what Forbidden Stars is? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, that's amazing to me, actually. That I yeah, know what it is? Yes. Come on, bro, I'm a gamer, cat. <laughs> that's just uh, not your kind of game. Rebellion. Though. A four-hour game uh -huh. or editing three-hour video? Playing one four-hour game or editing a three-hour video or editing for three hours? No, editing a three-hour video. Well, which is gonna that's going to take like, you know... Eight hours. Twelve <laughs> hours or something. <laughs> I know, right? So uh, I will play the game. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've... Oh, now I know how to get him to play TI4? Just shoot a, a You will edit... Five top tens today, or TI4. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, at that point you've got me. Those are not <laughs> short to edit, folks. A virus or a bacteria? A virus or a, ba or a bacteria? Bacteria. I can fight a bacteria, not a virus, yeah. Pencils or beluga whales? <laughs> Pencils or beluga whales? I like beluga whales, so. I think I, uh. I think I just saw a shark jump over our table. No, this is cool. What are you talking? This is the best questionnaire yet. What else you got? Um, Lord of the Rings or deep dish pizza? Lord of the Rings or deep dish pizza? I'm going to go with Lord of the Rings on that one, actually. I'm not a big fan of deep dish. Roger Rabbit or Walrus? Roger Rabbit. Like, who framed Roger Rabbit, right? Or Walrus? I love walruses, man. Yeah, walrus. Fireflies or pizza? Fireflies as in the animal or pizza? I'm pretty sure pizza's going to win a lot of these fights, folks. Pizza. Apples or pizza? Pizza. Pizza all Lord of the Rings? Pizza. What else you got? Sam or Z? <laughs> who, why, who are they asking? Why would he not choose I'm going to go with pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go halvesies with them on it, too. <laughs> yes. Half a pizza. Stuffed crust. Ha! Ah! That's oh, where that it's is, at. That is, that is Heavy very, metal very good. or rap? Heavy metal. I don't like either one that much, but I'll go with heavy metal. Lipstick or lip gloss? Lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll answer it, man. I just saw another shark Never fly by. Pandemic again or TI4 Oni? So never pandemic again. 
or TI4 what? Oni, like Oni that game. <laughs> Only that game. Once? No, I think it's Oni that game. Well, that's like not much of a choice. It's like every game except one or one game forever. I'll take the every game except one, yeah. even if it's my favorite game. Because that includes TI4. I mean, you can take my hundred favorite games, folks. And I have every other game, and I'm still going to pick every other game. Yeah, because that still includes TI4. It's insane. Yeah, TI4 it will probably be most of what I'm playing, but every now and then I can play Yahtzee or something. Twilight Imperium or Watching Paint Dry? Ooh! Twilight Imperium you or better, Watching you better, Paint you better, Dry? You better choose game or you're not a gamer. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, TI4, sure. Watching paint dry is boring. That's not, not mentally stimulating, let's say. <laughs> I'm supposed to pick the one I like the most? Oh. Mosquitoes. Oh, my God. Ticks, I, I don't like the I whole, hate, like, I tick hate. is on you and it, no, like... No, tick is in you. Well, kind of. He, no, like, he, not kind of. He, ticks can burrow, too. Really? Yeah. Never seen that. Well, they, they, they dig in? Their little head, like, is in yeah, you, but their body's in. outside. That's still, that's bad. Well, a mosquito's face is in you also. I mean, you like... Yeah, they go... <laughs> and then they come out. Yeah, I'll take a mosquito, even though they carry more disease, I think, but... <coughs> no, Lyme disease for ticks. <coughs> that's why I took bacteria. <coughs> mm -hmm. Pizza or pandemic? Pizza or pandemic. Oh. Now, this is where it's at. This is the heavyweight match. Pizza or pandemic? Oh, I think what I want to do there is I want to make a pandemic board where everything is edible. Where all of the disease cubes are candy. The board is made of nachos. The cards, kale. That's disgusting, actually. No, not kale. Oh, <laughs> um, oh, it's a pandemic. Pandemic. I'll give up pizza. TI4 or losing $20? Wow. Once? Yeah. No. And I, then... No, like daily, you lose $20 no. a day. <laughs> Until I play TI4. No. No. <laughs> Never play TI4 or lose 20 bucks once, I'll lose 20 bucks. Wow. That that's actually, is, no, that's that pretty bad. That cat is rich. That cat is rich. That's kind of a crazy exchange. Yeah, I'll is. just play the game, right? Yeah. And then I can go yeah. treat myself to like a whole lot of ice cream or pizza. Gloomhaven or Rhino Hero? Gloomhaven or Rhino Hero. Ugh, I've never, I have, I've barely played Gloomhaven, folks, and I've been wanting to, so I'll go with that. Because I just scratched the surface on that, and it seemed it seemed neat. But I do like Rhino Hero, especially the Super Battle one. Uh, Cuba the Country or Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> Cuba the Country <laughs> or Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've seen like multiple species of sharks <laughs> flying there goes overhead. Hammerhead. I'll go with Cuba the Country. How about that? Cuba Gooding Jr. is getting crazy in his older days. Snow or Africa heat? Snow or Africa heat. I will take the snow, please. I can always cover up more. I cannot right. take any more up. That is my philosophy. You can always dress up to the cold at some point. You cannot take you anything. You cannot take anything more off. Or you get arrested. Yes. I'll tell you about that story <laughs> no, another time. That's not a story. <laughs> pandemic season one or season two? Uh, season two I liked better than season one in Pandemic Legacy. I said two <laughs> more than one, yeah? Yeah, that's what I meant. All right. Are we good? I'm pretty, re pretty much ready to go, yeah. Uh, so the winner basically was Pandemic or pizza, pizza. <laughs> losing 20 bucks, and then everything else. I think that's pretty, pretty right. Pretty good. All right, let's do this. All right, thing. so this is Siege Storm. This is a very, I think, simple. Uh, we are going to be playing the introductory style version. We're just using the starting decks, which are denoted by a little green symbol down in the bottom of the card. Okay. And uh, there are a bunch of other cards that you can use for each side. Uh, to supplement your decks 
and change them from, you know, give them a, more of this kind of character or less of that kind of character, you know, that kind of stuff. So we're just, well, there's a lot of cards that we aren't using. We're just using the basic stuff here. All right? Okay. Turn it off. good. Okay. So uh, you have, uh, this is your um, resource pile. These are your resource piles here. There are 10 cards in each stack, so you've got 30 cards of a deck. The thing is, is that whenever you take, whenever you draw cards, you start in the top, and then we will work down. If you ever can't draw cards, you lose. Okay. And you must draw two cards every turn. Okay. All right, so there's a little bit of a time aspect there. Yeah, these are mine, those are yours? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So this is your top, that's my top, Got it. your bottom, so forth. Now, here, this is my deployment zone. That is your deployment zone. Mm -hmm. So whenever you deploy a card, you're going to deploy it here. And then another part of the phase is going to be to track movement, which means they move forward towards your front line. Through no man's land. Well, no, no, no. There's one, two, three spots here. And then once they get up here, they're considered, you have to tell them to either storm, uh, hold ground, or support. So at this point, if they storm, they're going to be basically attacking you, and we'll explain that later. If you hold ground, you're going to move it to either your front line or to no man's land. Mm -hmm. And when they move to either front line or no man's land, their latent ability, their passive ability, is always going to be triggering. And if you look at some of these, like for example, uh, this person here says that uh, for two points, uh, I can heal three damage from somewhere else. Or this one says I can draw one card. Or this one says double the attack value of an ally. Uh, so there's a number of different things that are in passive values. Cool. Um, when, so that's the general layout of, of what all is going on here. When somebody attacks, when somebody storms here, they're going to be attacking the opponent, which means they're, you're trying to get people to lose cards quickly. Okay, okay. Um, the power of the card, for example, let's uh, go ahead and we'll just use this one. This Angel of Fury here. Ooh. He has seven attack ability and a two defense ability. His action, which you can play cards to use as their actions, and in which case they just go over here in your oh, dead pile, oh, oh. Um, instead of deploying them here. Mm -hmm. uh, so his action here is kill all enemies, enemies with a cost of three or less. Yeah. So if you have a bunch of low-level enemies up here, I can play this guy and just say, they're all dead. Mm -hmm. uh, but then he goes away. Mm -hmm. Okay, He doesn't stay here and, and move up. If you're deploying him, though, you're using him for your abilities down here. And this is the, the cost that you have to do to, to pay him. Mm -hmm. All right, so you would deploy him here on the bottom, and then on a future turn, you can track him up, which frees up your deployment zone. Mm -hmm. But if you have... Uh, uh, if you have three things here and they're, uh, I can no longer deploy anybody here because there's somebody occupying my deployment zone. Mm -hmm. So if I'm, I'm just storming with this guy constantly, then uh, you're going to get stuck. But if, if I tell him to hold ground and I move him here or here, then on the next turn these will track up and I'll start deploying again. Okay. All right. Now let's... let's um, you keep the, that one, yeah. This one. Now, let's. Uh, this is the first time we played this game, by the way. I don't know if we uh, explained that to you. All right, so storming. When your creature is up here and you choose for him to storm, you're going to uh, deal damage and perform its action. Oh. Yeah, so it's pretty nasty. If the opponent has a card present in his deployment zone, then you subtract that person's defense value from that person's attack value. And that becomes the attacking st strength of the uh, character. And then that's how many cards you have to lose over here. From this pile first, and then going down. Okay. All right, so that's what storming is. Um, you can also target a creature on his front line or in no man's land. And if the damage is larger than the creature's defense value, it dies, any leftover damage is lost. So, if this creature is storming, he can either attack your opponent or he can attack one of your guys up here. Cut. One of the opponent's guys, rather. Uh, like if I'm attacking here or here. 
Um, and if I'm attacking that defense value, and then whatever's left is what you lose here. If I'm attacking your no man's land or your front line. There's no spillover. There's no spillover, that's correct. It's just the, the, the damage has to be higher than your defense value. Hold ground is where you take your unit and place it on either your front line or no man's land, as long as the chosen slot remains empty. So if you have somebody here, I can't put somebody there. I would have to put them here. Okay. All right. Um, as long as your creature stays on the front line, its passive ability continues. Okay. Now, when somebody gets up here, you can also choose for them to become a support card, which means that you would place them um, face up down here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Move the creature back to your support zone and flip it over. From now on, you may commit the creature once per turn to help you pay the cost for Vinny card passive. When you do that, tilt the creature to the side, <laughs> tap it, and uh, subtract one from the cost of the card or ability that you are playing. The number of supporters is not limited, though each can be committed only once per turn. You may commit a supporter as soon as he is placed in your support zone. Yeah, they mean like this, I think. Correct. For that. And then yes. Tap it. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, right, right. So it reduces the cost? Yes. You're growing your mana pool. Yes. That's exactly okay. what you're doing. You're growing your mana pool. That is How correct. else do you pay for these things? That's what I'm going to look up now for deployment. Let's see, where are we? Put the card in your deployment zone if it's empty. No. Deploy unit. If your deployment zone is empty, you may play a creature and put it there. You won't be able to summon any more creatures. You move. You won't be able to summon any more creatures until you move your track clear of your deployment zone. All right. So you have to clear this up before you can deploy more. Um, looking. Well, this is no longer correct. No, it's not correct, but it's okay. Most of it is. Most of it is the screen, so we're not worried about that. I'm looking up deployment cost. I'm, I thought I read that this was a deployment cost. That's a six. Yeah, it is. That's but there's three. there's like threes and zeros as well. But <laughs> um, I got the five one one, yo. <laughs> I do. Uh, let's see. To play a card from your hand, discard a number of cards equal to the cost. There you go. Discard a number <laughs> of cards equal to the cost, but if you've got some stuff out here, you reduce that cost. Correct. So this, this number is how many cards you have to discard in addition to any support that you have, or, or rather subtracted by any support that you have down there that you can use. Okay. That makes sense? Makes sense. I think it's pretty straightforward from there. It looks like it. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and do it. Let me do read this, though. Um, if you play a card from your hand as an action, you resolve the ability described on the action part of the card and then put the card in the casualties pile. So you would still, for example, if, you, if I wanted to use his ability, I would still have to discard that much stuff really? or support for the action. You sure? Well, it looks like it. I mean, it says playing cards. Um, to play a card from your hand, discard a number of cards equal to its cost and put them on the casualties pile. Yeah, yeah. You can also use your support zone to help any, to help pay the bills. Yeah. Every card must be played in two basic ways, as an action or as a creature. As an action, you play the card from your hand, announcing that you are playing an action, and so forth and so on. As a creature, you put it in your deployment zone, and then it becomes there. So that's that. Okay. And then you also have this. Yeah, to, I got it. To, for the uh, Help me out. thing. So uh, you want to do it? I'm gonna go. I'll go ahead and go first. Go first. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, well, I got some um, evil beasts. Okay, so first of all, we prepare. I'm if any committed units you. in the support zone, turn them back up. That's not there. So no. we draw two cards from the top of our resources pile. We both do this. No. Um, do you go through your whole turn and then I do mine? I believe so. Yes, yes. It says you're done. Your opponent yes. starts his turn. Right. Right, Kenny? That's right. That's what all I thought you were right. going to say. I'm going to go with... Uh, Deploying my old paladin for I'm nothing. Cancel that. 
shirk. <laughs> it's not rain. And uh, let's see. I'm Drew, track movement, didn't have any movement. I deployed. Now I am my turn. Your, your turn. All righty. So prepare. I'm done preparing. Yes. Drawing. Yes. I am done drawing. Track movement. I'm done tracking. Deployment. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a, a bit of a build up here. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to deploy a lesser demon. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, where's my discard? Oh, you just have to discard somewhere? That guy was free, but... Yeah, just... It, it's, it's literally over here at, at, behind your... Yeah. That's fine. Whatever. I'll put it over here because I'm going to put my mana down here. Okie dokie. All right. So that was that. That was deployment. Now you end your turn. I'm done. Opponent starts his turn. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, you can't play more than one dude, huh? Okay. So first of all, prepare. If you have any committed units, don't draw. So we're going to draw two. And again, remember, this is a basic game. So this is just for us to get track movement. Man. Deploy. Man. And then you and your old I am paladins. Done. I know, right? They're, They're like teaching us. Me. They're teaching us. They're just marching. You're up. Old paladins. Draw first. Draw first, track. yeah. One, two, track. Deploy. Deploy. Yeah, this is simple. So so simple. I'm going to deploy a fire elemental. Fire elemental. Ooh, he deals two damage. Oh, and he's a four? That's right, Holy son. Holy cow. Deal with that reality. Look at this. I'm done. He only heals two. I know, but he's an old He paladin. only has one attack. and He's only... old. Wow. He's okay. got busted shoes. You should have. I'm done. All right, I'm drawing two. My opponent starts his turn. Yes. And uh, we're going to track movements. Now what you're going to do. Trying to see when do I have to declare him. Right. When your, creatures, when your creature reaches the top. So, so what are you doing? He's going to become... Again, I think it's supposed to be upside down, but I guess this doesn't really I, matter, right? I don't, no, I don't think it matters because it doesn't matter what he is anymore. Yeah. He's just a support card. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to tap him. I guess him. that makes sense because it's got the red gem on the back. Yeah. Maybe that's what it's We're going to tap one to deploy him, and Ooh. you're up. Uh, I'm going to leave that up there for right now. When does it attack? Is there an attack step? Well, when it gets up there, you have to, de you have to determine if he's going to hold uh, storm, hold ground, or support. He's going to storm. Okay. So um, it's going to be two. Yes. Minus two, which is zero. But then it says your opponent sacrifices a card. Correct. So I have to sacrifice one of my cards. Which... Now, later, like, next round, do I get to make that choice again? Uh, I know. I believe the after storming and resolving the triggered actions or abilities, the creature goes to your casualty pile. Oh, geez. It's a one-time attack. Yes. Because you made it sound like he could, like, you, I could get stuck with the track because he stayed up there. Oh. That's not yeah, a no, thing. No, that's not a thing. I misread. He will die now. Mm. Like, he gets one swing and then he's gone. Yes, that is correct. Okay, then forget so that crap. Maybe you just want to put yeah, him on support, yeah. 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 Stupid Sorry. lesser demon. I, oh, that's right. He is lesser. <laughs> you dumb lesser demon. Now he can be used right now, though. Oh, I'm going to use him. <laughs> You better grow a bigger demon. Um, all right, so that was what? Draw? No, I haven't drawn yet. Wait, what did I do? You probably haven't drawn yet. Um, Why did I move them already, then? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we, we all should have three hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many do you have? Four, five, six, seven. No, no, no. How many in your hand? 
Oh, five. Yeah, you should. Ha you should. You haven't drawn yet. Okay, so I draw. I would have then tracked. Yes. And now, deploy. I get to deploy. Right. <clears throat> All right. This is more like it now. I'm going to uh, unleash a death dragon. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's five though. That's one, two, three, four, five. You made a mistake. Mistake. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think. No, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> I don't um, know. I don't kinda, know. I'll try that one. Stuff. I'll All try right, a so, rush, uh, rush strategy. Prepare. prepare. Draw two. <sighs> um, track. He's going to come down and support. Yeah, that's right. Go away, old man. No, he's not. He, he went back and he's teaching in the uh, war college. Oh, okay. Good for him. Um, we're going to tap both of these to put an assassin out, yo. What? And you're up. That worries me. Prepare. Draw. So these are just three decks for no good reason other than they, they break up a 30-card deck nicely, right? Sure. Okay. Then I'm going to do the tracky tracky part. And then I'm going to unleash the fire elemental upon you. Okay, so that's four. Are you attacking, I'm assuming, my deck? Or are you attacking, oh, I what don't have anybody do here. You can only attack yeah, my okay, deck. The deck. So yeah. it's four minus one is three. So I have to lose one, two, three. And then it also deals two damage, it says. Uh, okay, four, five. And then this dies. Ouch. Right? Now, I will deploy. Yes. Cool. Or, when do I get to do a card just for the uh, passive thing? Or just for the action? If it's here or here. Oh, that's the oh, only time. If, oh, and then for the action, I could just do it, but it's the same thing. It's the same, yeah. But you, Why would you, I ever do that? I don't know. Because I need it to go off right now instead of in three turns or two turns, I guess. I do want to see what this does. That's the only thing that makes heal sense. Heal means you take your top casualty and put it uh, at the bottom of your resources. So maybe we would probably put it here. I don't think it really matters. All anywhere in there, yeah. yeah. Well, if it's at the bottom of your deck, it would go at the bottom of the last one. Yeah. All right, anywho. I'm going to put out a blood cultist. <laughs> a lesser cultist. A lesser cultist. I'm done. I think that's it. Yeah. What does Raze do? Oof. All right. Don't be scared. Okay, here we go. Um, go for it. Going to ready, draw. Ooh, okay, and then track. These are both. He's going to come down here. And then. Um, and then we're going to. I'm going to go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Four, five. Six, seven. To play the Archangel, which lets me raise four, which means I take one, two, three, four back into my hand. This was, I'm beginning to feel it's a little bit. And then I can take another turn. Um, so, uh, another turn for me is going to be... You played seven cards, take draw four. And then take another turn. Why would you do such a thing? I have no idea. I'm just doing what my cards allow me to do. <laughs> you paid four cards, you know that. Yes, Like, I you did. discarded four. Yes. And then you drew them back. Yes, I know. Why? I don't get it at all. <laughs> 
It says, that's what it says. It says raise. No, but like take your top casualty to your take your top casualty to your hand. It says raise four, so you take four of these cards back into your hand. So that makes sense if it happened from here, because then you get the attack and the power. But just triggering for the action is actually a wash. Yes, it is. Okay, go for it, bro. Hey, man. You got this. Don't leave. I think losing Shadespire might have broken your brain. Yes, that's exactly what happened. All right, so I'm going to track. Okay. Because I can now. Right. I'm going to have him. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Sh Storm. Bring it. Which is three minus zero, so it's three. Yes. And then I also kill one enemy with cost three or less, which is going to be this one. One, two, three cards. And then he goes to my discard pile. Good. good. Wait, 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 wait. Now I get to deploy. Oh, yeah, that was just tracking. Okay. This is my second turn, baby. So All good. Right, so I'm going to deploy my Angel of Fury, and I'll be one, two, three. Four, five, six. You're up. All right. Prepare, nothing. Draw, <coughs> yes. One, two. Um, track, bam. Storm supporter hold. They will attack you. Storm. This one? Okay, so yeah. it's going to, so you get to raise four. Into and my hand. You're going to do six minus two is four. Gum. Is that Three, right? Just four cards into my hand? Four. Whichever four I want, or what? Top four, or what? Uh, I believe it says the top of your casualty pile. All right. Done. So it's the top four. Uh, <clears throat> so did you get attacked? Hmm. Yes. Six. I, I, did, I did everything. So the two, da da da. It's four, yeah. and I lost four. Okay. Then I get to uh, you get deploy. to raise four, and then you, now you deploy. Yeah. They're asking if you could read the cards as you play them. Okay, will do. So. Is it not? It's not clear enough on there. Yeah, it probably isn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, well, I'm gonna play Fire Elemental, attack of four, and the action is it will deal two damage. It's also free. Free. So that is it for my turn. I'm done. Opponent starts his next turn. <laughs> Just think that's funny how All they were right. like, end of turn, you're done. So it says you're care. done. Draw two cards. Wow. This drawing two every turn, I don't know that I like that. Well, you gotta forcefully slow it down, kind of. Yeah, but you gotta how? be careful with it. You have drawing from here, whenever you have that healing or raising or whatever. Yeah, I guess so. No, it's definitely, I mean, but it keeps the game moving, like yeah, that engine that cannot right. be stopped. I like right. that. So this tracks. All right. Um, um, hmm. Oh, yeah. Doing that. Oh, but it still allows me, man. Hmm, so many good things that I want how to many, do. I wonder how many uh, playing cards. So many good things. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you can play as many cards as you want, you, but you can only deploy one as a creature, right? I don't know. It doesn't say that, right? That doesn't say anything about playing cards from your hand actually on here at all. No, it says I mean, deployment, to, from, but, just but playing from. cards right there, it says you can play them as an action or uh, as a creature. It doesn't give a delineation that you can only... It does say that you can only deploy if your deployment zone is empty, but it doesn't say that you can... To bear, uh, discard a number of cards equal to its cost, put them in the casualties piles. You can also use your support zone to help pay the bills. Every card can be played in two basic ways. There's an action. Play the card from your hand, announcing that you are playing an action. Resolve the ability to describe the action part of the card, and then put the card in the casualties pile or as a creature. Play the card, announcing it as a creature. Put it in the deployment zone. You can only do this 
If the zone is currently empty, as long as the creature remains on the track, its passive ability remains enabled. We are not doing that. Well, it's enabled, but it doesn't take effect until it's in front line or no man's land. Then what does enabled mean? I don't know. No, it, but it, it does say that over here. See? Learning game. This is how it works. Um, uh, where it says holding ground. It says, as long as your creature stays on the or no man's land, this passive ability remains in effect. Not enabled. That's a problem, folks. Yeah, it is. Enabled is, means the same thing as <laughs> in effect. Where did you read the other part? It's like over here somewhere. Okay. As long as the creature remains... Passive remains enabled if the creature's passive ability has an activation cost, usually a number of cards to discard. You may activate it any time, any number of times, as long as you can afford to pay. Then so if it's a triggered ability, you may pay and trigger it. If it's a passive ability, which is kind of weird because they're all no, called they're, passive. They're both called passives. So I'm wondering, Yeah, though, but one of them is triggered. Yeah, but see, Look, here, this here's passive here's ability... I pay for. Right. That is not called normally passive, but fine, you want to call it that in your game. Then what they mean to say, if I'm not mistaken, is while it's out here, if it has a cost you can trigger, you can do that, you can do that, you can do that. Then when it goes over here, if it's one that doesn't have a cost, it flips on. Hmm. That's how that reads to me. If yeah, so, because these are these aren't ones that I was thinking maybe it means that they just become free when they get here. But some of these I think are too powerful if they were free. Yeah, that doesn't that that shouldn't be a thing probably. Okay, anyway, where were we? It was my turn, correct? Why not? <laughs> All right. So I think you just advanced her maybe? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, we were asking to see if you could play multiple actions. Right, right. And well, it, it looks seems like, yeah, to read you fine, can, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to go um, one, two, three. But again, these are the kinds of things Four, that five. bother me about these little card games that give you that much. Th that's the whole rule book, right? Yeah. That's. I, I was just playing another game the other day, same thing. It's a game that you, you look at it, you think about it, you go, wow, nice, simple, streamlined, beautiful. Can't wait to play this. They give you a rule book that's, you know, a few pages long, but they miss obvious things. You know what yeah, I mean? Like I little things that could clarify what's going on. Maybe. All right, so I'm playing Angel of Mercy. I went one, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. to play Angel of Mercy, which allows me to heal five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can add top two casualties as supporters. Got it. Okay. So these have been used, these have not been used. And that goes over there. That was just an action. So um, now I'm going to use one, two, uh, three to play Griffin Cavalry, which makes me draw two. And I can track up by one. I'm going to have him storm now, seven to zero. So that means you got to discard seven cards mm -hmm. and kill all enemies with three cost or less. Mm -hmm. And then he goes to my discard pile as well. Okay. And uh, we're going to have my Sky Guardian come out, and we're going to get rid of. All but one of these guards. Um, all but him. So one, two, three, four. You're up. Okay, I am going. I think to I just evened us up there a little bit. You were definitely in <laughs> the lead. I'm done now. I think I'm pretty done because you have five cards that you pay and never go away. So. Uh, okay, I'm drawing two. I'm going to put this into play, and then I'm going to. What does that even mean? Oh, it's so expensive. 
Um, <laughs> Sound like you're. What are your casualties? Your, your deck. Yeah, why not? That'll be fun. Opponent removes all casualties from the game. So I can't get these anymore. Oh wow. So that's permanent. I mean, that was at that moment. So I'm I'm assuming that those casualties are still there. I mean, if I put new casualties here, there that'll still be there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. You're done. Done. All right. So I'm gonna draw two. Because it looks like you heal a lot, so I don't want yeah, you to be able to. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> this will track up. Um, these right. Sorry. I'm going to. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, first. We're going to spend one to deal damage equal to the smallest attack on your track. So that's four. Yeah, but you have to spend the one. Oh, you paid for I it. Did. Yeah, okay. Um, so deal damage equal to the smallest attack value on your track. So on your track? Yeah, so it's four. So four. Okay. Yep, and then I'm going to spend two more to deploy here. And no, why would I do that? I don't know. Two more. I wonder if it goes. See, I think I'm playing it, and then I have to carry this out, and then it goes here. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Does it have a breakdown over there? The order? For pretty, those pretty sure that's what it does. Well, where is it? You, as an action, you res play the card from your hand, resolve the ability, and then put it on the, uh, the casualties pile. Yeah, so that's, that won't do me a whole lot of good right now. Um, but I have the mana to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Do it. This comes in here. That goes there. Uh, that was, how many have I done? That was one, two. I don't know, three, I think. You've done three, so I got two I more. Know. Seems fiddly, but it might make the difference. Cool. You're up. Good. Uh, prepare. Draw. Cool. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do one, two. Three, I'm discarding three to trigger this power on them. They're the same guy. Take a zombie card from your casualties well, to your hand. Imagine you have to do it once for each, though. I was just doing it once, though. Okay. I think I'm looking to see if there's one more of those dudes in here. I think there is. Did you track up? Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got one right here. All right, I got this guy, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna play it from my hand for the action. Okay. Deal two damage for every zombie on the track, so that's four damage. Two damage for each. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to. <clears throat> Be done. Okay. So I ready. Draw two. Uh, track up. He's gonna storm four minus zero. That's that. Um, that's everything. So that's game, right? This comes over here. Um, Assume it ends immediately. <clears throat> it's kind of laid out strange. I'm sorry. No, I know. I, I, I <clears throat> yes. Again, 
these little card games, people to forget to they have to be really careful with these things, especially games with little effects and stuff. Then your FAQ ends up being longer than your rule book. That is not okay. Get this rule book into someone's hands who has never played the game, folks. That's one of the big uh, Achilles heels when it comes to writing rule books for these kinds of games. This is just the diagram. I, I know that if you if you cannot draw, because it says here uh, under the drawing of cards, where mm -hmm. is that at? <laughs> Why can't I? F this is literally two pages. Why can't I find game end? <laughs> Playing cards. Storm, whole ground support. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, your resources, your track, your support, casualties, pile, enemy, um, resources. If you are asked to put any cards on the bottom of your, then place them below or under the last pile. Okay. Um, move down, put many cards. At any time you could draw any cards, start with the top pile. Uh, under the last pile, your track, support, casualties, and Why? What in the world? They went through the trouble of living, giving the cards rarity. That's good. Well, that's how many times it shows up in your deck and how many <coughs> of them are I know, available. but it's like, hey, we're like a CCG. Is this <laughs> game collectible? Is there anything collectible about it? I don't know. I don't know. I not, don't know much about it. Not anyway. yet, I guess. It will be if it catches on. Okay. It says if you don't have enough resources to draw, you lose the game. Bam. So it's not your draw phase right now. It's mine. Just let me die. No! I will continue! You can't hurt me anymore, though. I can, though. I can kill your dumb zombies. No, they're already dead. That's how that zombie is. How many works. cards do you have in your hand? Dose. Your opponent discards two. You draw two. So you discard both of those cards. Shame! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about these. I don't know what they are. Um, and I'm going to pay one, two, three to place any card from my hand into my no man's land or front zone. So my fire wizard is like, what's up, y'all? I'm going to burn you, zombies. We've never done that the whole game. I, to do, no, I can't say that anymore, can you? I know, I know, but I wonder if... All right, now it's your turn. You're done. I'm dead. you dead. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. That's right. All right, well, that is Siege Storm. We're going to be... Uh, well, I'm going to try to play this a little bit more oh, often. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs more plays A review for sure. is coming. A review is coming, but... This is uh, the hardest kind of review, folks. Uh, people don't understand that... Um, if you play a game and you love it, you adore it, you understand everything about it, that's a review that's fairly easy to do. Yeah. You play a game and it's clearly bad, clearly, you know, very little love went into it. That's a fairly easy review. It's this, where there's all this, a lot went into this game and you can tell, but it seems a little rough around the edges. Rulebook's not quite all there. Yeah. This one takes the most time. Yep. Because you got to play it a whole lot. You got to make sure you investigate your ins and outs. And so, yeah, I don't envy this you this true. one. This is that kind of thing. All right. Well, we've been at this for a while now. Uh, that is two and a half hour live stream. So that's two games and a Q&A with Z in between. I think that's a positive. That's a good day in my book. That's a good day, y'all. Well, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. I'm Sam Healy. I'm Z Garcia. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye. Have a good so one. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. 
I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.